it to the no going and you tell me do things I done running. <laughs> Contest begin! First, I'm gonna get those hostess kingdoms! Protect the king! That silly jester never learns! <laughs> oh boy! It's a cake! It's a candy! It's two taste treats in one! Get hostess kingdoms! I command you! This is America's favorite hot snack, the pizza roll from Geno's. What makes it the favorite? It's what makes it. Like meat, tomato, cheese, milk, eggs, peppers, celery, seasonings. Gino's Pizza Rolls. All those good things rolled into America's favorite hot snack. The Pizza Roll. Only from Gino's. Stay on Space Stars. Space! Space Ghost, Jan, Jace, and Blip find themselves in a deadly trap set for them by a cosmic criminal. Then, the teen horse matches superpowers with the evil Uglor and his army of apes. The Herculoids face certain doom from a deadly alien, coming up next on Space Stars. Space Stars! galaxy of heroes team together in an interstellar battle against evil. Blast off on adventures as big as the cosmos itself. Race, poised on the edge of time with Space Ghost and his young friends. Straight through the universe with Space Ace, Astro, and the Space Mutts as they spring into action. And somewhere deep in space, Super Danger threatens the Teen Force. Join the famed Herculoids in their new battles to preserve peace on the planet Quasar. Now, get set for 60 laser-blasting minutes of action, adventure, fun, on Space Stars! Chan and Kid Comet are headed for a man-made resort built on the moon of an uninhabited planet. But they are about to make a detour will take them further off course than they could ever imagine. Pretty fast, kid, but I've heard you can break the time barrier. Sure, no problem. I'm game if you are. Now? You've got to be kidding. Oh, well, okay, I understand if you're afraid. Afraid? Who's afraid? at this speed, I'll have to break the time barrier. We must be millions of years in the past. 
Uh oh. Here comes the welcoming committee. Hold on, Jan! Meanwhile, in the present time, Space Ghost is chasing the notorious space pirate Barbos, who has just robbed another transport freighter. I think we've got Barbos this time, Chase. Space Ghost, he's heading for Chorus 4. That's as good a place as any to put the clamps on him. Now, Space Ghost, here's the little surprise I promised. He's on the surface, and his ship, it just vanished. No sensor readings. Let's get down there while the trail's still hot. Meanwhile, Jan and Kid Comet are millions of years in the past on the same planet. We're safe for now. Kid, are you sure we're in the prehistoric era? Well, yeah. Why? What's sheet metal doing millions of years in the past of an uninhabited planet? I can't believe it! We'd better check this one out. What the heck is it, Space Ghost? My guess is that it's some kind of time machine. And that's how Barbos disappeared. Right, and we're going after him. Come on! must be in Chorus 4's prehistoric past. I don't see any signs of Barbos, except for that arch. That must be how he gets back and forth in time. I don't think we should have left that gully so soon, Jan. But we've got to find out who else is in this time period. We're trapped. What we need right now is a miracle. I don't believe it! The Phantom Cruiser! Now that's what I call a miracle. Take the controls, Jace. I'm going outside. I'll cover you, Space Ghost. is here in this time zone. That's incredible. And that explains the sheet metal you found, Jan. Space Ghost, look what's coming. That's the biggest warship I've ever seen. If that's Barbos, there's no way we can stop him. There has to be a way. Lasers! Full power! Now getting rid of the mighty space ghost would be like swatting a fly. Let's see if a little comet power will have any effect. Wow, this stuff is tough. Ten-inch steel with a force field plating. Space Ghost, this is getting ridiculous. I know. There's no stopping that ship. But what happens if he brings it back into our time? Maybe we're working this thing from the wrong end. Maybe that's where we can get him. We'll never break through that force shielding. And we've had it. Not yet, Jace. Everybody, lay it on that volcano. here too just waiting for barbos to pick us off no chance jace hitch the cruiser up to my rocket cycle and i'll give you guys a tow space ghost hurry got it let's go
Come on, baby, you can do it. Just one direct hit. Now! Last stop, the present. So you decided not to finish your date with Kid Comet, huh? No, I'll just have to wait to see that resort moon. Well, that just goes to show you... Show you what? Never trust a guy who promises you the moon. Oh, oh. With the destruction of the Time Arch, Barbos and his war machine are trapped millions of years in the past. <laughs> Thanks to... Space Ghost! Space Magic with Molecular and the Astromites. Hey, Plutum! Black! How would you guys like to see my latest magic trick? I really like this trick because I can do it sitting down. Look at this Neptunian nickel. It's a teleporting coin, and I can make it move from one place to another, all by itself. Now first, make sure there's nothing under my right foot. Then I slip the coin under my left foot. Now, I summon the alien mystic forces to teleport the coin from under my left foot to under my right foot. See? The coins move from here to here. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll tell you how I did the trick. You see, when I raised my right foot, a duplicate coin was hidden under my heel. Then I secretly dropped the first coin into my boot while pretending to place it under my left foot. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, guys, remember, practice makes perfect. And now, today's space fact. This superhero reunion on Earth should be a real blast. Yeah, we haven't been to a party on Earth in a long time. What time does the invitation say to be there, Electra? 10 p.m., May 8th, London, England. Then we should make it just in time. <laughs> ah, here we are in cold and snowy London. Cold, right. London, wrong. The Bank of Siberia? Siberia's in Russia. It's the wrong country. May 9th is the wrong day. If we hurry, we can still make the party in time. How do you figure? Well, if we cross the international date line, it will still be May 8th in London. What's the international date line? It's an imaginary line which marks the spot on Earth where the new calendar day begins. An imaginary line? Well, actually, the international date line follows the 180th meridian, which runs north and south at about the middle of the Pacific Ocean. For each 15 degrees east of the date line, time is advanced one hour. For each 15 degrees west of the date line, the time is set back one hour. I get it. When it's midnight at the date line, the day is just beginning on the east side and just ending on the west side. So what are we waiting for? It's party time! We now return to our program. The giant Starliner makes a routine tour of the Rim Worlds when a sudden explosion racks the great vessel. Its navigational equipment destroyed, the liner drifts helplessly into dangerous clouds of space dust. The universal space distress signal sounds. Hundreds of travelers are in danger, or so it seems. At Black Hole X, help is instantly on the way in the form of the Teen Force. According to that coded distress signal, we've got a Starliner in trouble out in the Rim World. That's weird. Starliners are the safest ships around. Except for this one, so we'd better hurry. Their oxygen may be running out. Whoa, boy. This looks like my stomach feels after a bowl of Kit Comet's homemade chili. <laughs> I'll remember that the next time you ask for thirds. Come on, let's find the crew and passengers. How strange. A passenger ship that hasn't carried a passenger in years. This doesn't make sense. Don't move! Now it makes sense. Terrific. We just walked right into one of Uggler's rotten traps. All of you, line up! 
as a trap and we'd better get out of here before it's too late. I think it already is. One of Uglord's battleships. <laughs> Team Force, let's move it. As our friends search for Electra, a treacherous reception awaits her on Uglor's scientific space platform, Techno. The transformer beam should deliver Electra to us within five seconds, sire. You're sure this energy cell will hold her? Absolutely. No one can get in or out without this tone key. Good. Here she comes now. Uglor, where am I? Welcome to Techno, my dear. You are just in time to witness my greatest triumph. A machine that can instantly destroy any planet or star by converting it from matter to antimatter. And my first target, Helios, sun star of the free planets, will rise into range in exactly one hour. But if Helios is destroyed, all the free planets will freeze. Precisely. The Teen Force will stop you. No, you will stop the Teen Force. Electra Prime! I am ready, sire. Oh, no! It can't be me! Still no sign of Electra. Where could she have... Wait, what's this? It's Electra. Electra, what happened? I'll explain later. Right now, we have to stop Uglor from destroying the free planets. You bet! Lead the way! Wait, I... I can't seem to get full power. But the switch is right here, remember? Oh, yes, of course. Okay, guys, follow me. Tell you what, Electra. When this is all over, I'll treat you to your favorite. A big Saturn malt. That would be great. I thought Electra hated Saturn malt. She does. There it is. Techno. We'll sneak in low and fast. Electra, wait. It's too dangerous. Pretty slick, Uglor. We caught onto your robot a little too late. Now you can no longer stop me from destroying Helios and all of the free planets. Two minutes until target is centered. You will excuse me while I make final preparations. <laughs> That's one thing about Uglor. He has a great sense of humor. Electra, can you grab that tone key with your mind force? I've already tried, but this energy cell screens out most of my powers. Hey, I know something that'll fit through those bars. <laughs> the tone key, guys, the tone key. One minute until target is centered. Halt! You two there, halt! 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 I can't reach it. Perhaps it's close enough now that I can. Hurry, Electra. I'm trying. They've got the key! Come on, Electra. You can do it. <laughs> Stay where you are. Excuse me while I give these big apes to slip. The countdown. I'll handle the team force. We have to shut down that machine fast. 
Target now centered, ready to fire. You're too late, T-Force. In a moment, there will be no more Helios and no more free planets. There's only one thing left to do. You fool! You've made the machine reverse itself! It's changing into antimatter! It's going to explode! What about Uplord? He just split, and I think this whole city's about to do the same. Well, it looks like Uglor scientists will be living in tents for a while. Hope it rains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and while Techno lies in ruins, Helios still spreads its warmth across the free planets. Thanks to the Teen Force. Time for a space mystery with the Teen Force. Imagine, we finally know where to find Falkor, the most wanted thief in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but he's been missing for seven years. Almost seven years. We still have a few minutes left. We better find him before the seven years are up, or Falkor becomes legally free. Don't worry. My super ESP power is beginning to get a reading on him now. Ha! Ah, in just a few more minutes, the seven years will be up, and not a lawman in the universe will be able to touch me. Not much time left, team. If we don't pour on the speed, Falkor will never have to stand trial for his crime. I'm zeroing in on his location right now, kid. What do you know? According to those strange markings, we just crossed this planet's international dateline. Let's save the geography lesson for later, Moleculad, because Falkor is right over that ridge. Huh? That sounds like the Teen Force rocket cycles. <laughs> I can't let them grab me now, not when I'm only seconds away from freedom! There goes Falkor! We mustn't let him get away! Keep trying, Team Force! But in a few seconds, you'll be too late to arrest me! Ha-ha! The time limit is up! I'm legally a free man! Well, we're too late. This is one mission we really botched. Maybe not. We've got to steer him in the right direction. What's the matter with this thing? I'd better turn back and check the engines immediately. <sighs> Fools, they can chase me all over the planet, but it's too late, I'm already free! Well, do you know what Electra knows? Stay tuned and find out. And now, the answer to today's space mystery. <laughs> There's no reason for me to run anymore! There he is! You're under arrest, Falkor! Sorry, but the seven years are up! Legally, I'm free! Not quite! You see, we drove you back over this planet's international dateline. You've lost a whole day, Falkor. On this side of the dateline, you would not be legally free until tomorrow! We now return to our program. early morning on the Herculoid's home planet of Quasar. Xandor, Tara, and Dorno are about to eat breakfast, unaware of the terrible danger which lurks just beyond the next hill. What is it, Xandor? I'm not sure. A sound I have not heard before. Probably my hungry stomach, Father. Hey! Xandor, what are they? Some kind of monstrous plant. Something strange about these parts. Tara, Chrono, 
Get down. Thunder. Huff. Everyone else, move back. Sandor, what are you doing? Must find the plant's core. It is the only way to stop it. Gorno, take Zock and destroy those seeds before they start to grow. Tundra, destroy the core. <laughs> Lad is dead, and my stomach wonders what happened to breakfast. But father, what if there are other plants like that one? And we will wait for their challenge, Dono. Xandor is wrong this time, Blue. If there is another plant, it could grow large enough to take over this whole planet. Dino and Gloop are nowhere to be found. You don't suppose they went off to try and find... <laughs> Dorno has gotten himself into trouble. Lead the way, Gloop. Eagle, Dundro, quickly. Hang on, Dorno. He will free you! Why did you disobey me, Dorno? I told you to stay with us. Yes, Father, but... What if we had not reached you in time? Father, I am grateful, but please listen to me. We found something. Follow us! Look at that! What is that glow? I don't know, Mother, but that's where the plant is coming from. Come, we will find out. The vines are deliberately blocking us. They must be protecting whatever it is that's making that glow. Pandru, <laughs> Ego, wait! We have to find out what that glow is. Come on, Zock! Sock, don't go any farther. We have to tell Sandor. It's some sort of energy rock. It must have caused the plant to mutate. Then we must find a way to bury the rocks. But how with that plant guarding them? We will distract the vines. Tara, keep that plant busy. Off we go again, Zock. Careful, Zock. If we weaken that ridge, it will collapse and close the fissure. My friends, it's working. Careful, Zack, not so close. Zack, no! Toro! Remembering Igu's great affection for Tara, Xander calls on the rock ape to save her. Igu! Tara's in danger! 
There is one chance. Is dying. The energy rocks must have fed the plant somehow. And when they were buried, the plant couldn't survive. Sandor, this is where those last seeds landed, and look! It is some kind of fern. That's what the vines were before the energy rocks caused them to mutate. The gentlest things in the world. And so the light fades from another day on the planet Quasar, where even the most harmless plant can contain danger. of Space Stars. A terror from deep space threatens the Space Ghost team with destruction. Space Ghost! Then, a mission of mayhem sends Astro and the Space Mutts up against a most unusual foe. And the Space Star heroes combine their superpowers to battle the ultimate force today on Space Stars. On the Intergalactic Code Center, Space Code. Hey, Space Ace, what's that? A crystal code computer, Dipper. I thought it appropriate since Space Ghost and the Herculoids might soon be menaced by a crystal creature. Only one power can defeat the creature, and today's message will reveal what it is. The message is High Energy Atom Trail. That doesn't make sense. It will if you and the Earth Kids understand this clue. Mark my words from the beginning, Earth Kids. Look, a crystal bowling ball. <laughs> Uh-oh! Now it's time to get to work, Earth Kids. I'll have another clue later. We now return to our program. The farthest edge of the galaxy, where life as we know it is non-existent except on a few man-made space stations. Here in this cold, lonely part of space, it seems as though almost anything can happen, even the supernatural. Jace, can you spare a minute? Uh, I'm just filling these computer logs. At least I thought I was. Flip! <laughs> Flip, no! Oh, boy. Look out. <laughs> That's OK, Flip. He's gone. Looks like Flip made a monkey out of you, Jace. <laughs> <laughs> a distress signal coming from the Outworld station. Can you pick up any voices? No, it's an automatic SOS. And that's strange. It stopped. That station isn't that far from here. We'd better check it out. Space Ghost! Prepare for auto docking. Something's wrong, Space Ghost. The station's docking bay isn't responding. Looks like I'll have to be a gate crasher. Space Ghost, what's going on? I think the wolves are at the door, Jan. 
dock the Phantom Cruiser and follow me in the shuttlecraft. The shuttlecraft? Why, Space Ghost? Because something very strange is going on around here. <laughs> Somebody needs a lesson in remedial howling. So, it appears we have guests. We'll have to do something about that. your lives get out is this a space station or a fun house <laughs> this looks like the command center hi guys sorry i don't have time to play just now this place gives me the creeps oh come on don't tell me you're scared of the dark a ghost <laughs> turn back turn back while you can Who's being a fraidy cat? <laughs> okay, okay, take it easy. They can't do anything to us in here. It's not anything to be frightened of. Right, Blip? Ow! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> That's showing them, Blip. What do you say we step on it? Coming up on you, Space Ghost. Space Ghost? What's going on? I don't know. Until an hour ago, this was just a normal space station, minding its own business. These zombies are trying to stop us. They're being controlled. And whoever's doing it is afraid of us. Afraid, am I? They'll soon learn. What worries me is the fact that there's an entire mothball fleet housed here at Outworld Station. Uh-oh. More party crashes. Jan. Jace. Hit the shuttlecraft lights. The light! It scared them off! That's it. I've got it. Have you ever heard of a Borvolaka? It's an alien creature like a vampire, only it drains away its victims' vital energies. They become zombies, and then they become Borvolakas themselves. You mean we're up against some kind of interstellar Dracula? And I know exactly where he is. Come out here and send the shuttle back to the cruiser on autopilot. So, he's heading this way. I suppose it's time I met this fellow face to face. What? It seems I've underestimated this space ghost a trifle. Please, no false modesty. You! No! I know your plan, Vorvalaka. You're turning the people here into soul vampires and taking off in that mothball fleet to find more stations and more worlds and more victims. Yes, creating a master race of Vorvalakas, feeding on the souls of fools like you. There's just one hitch. How will you do it without the spaceships? What? While we've been chatting, my young friends are sabotaging that mothball fleet. Hurry, my children. Invaders are in the hangar. Stop them. Attack! Attack! Jan, Jace, how's it coming? We just finished, Space Ghost. Everything going to plan? You'd better believe it. In a few moments, every zombie in town's going to be down there. Over here! Come and get us! This way! <laughs> Here I am, space fans! Now to deal with Mr. Big himself. Very well, Space Ghost. But I will still have revenge. How, with all your weird friends locked up? Because I made the station's cooling system power core fail. It will quickly overheat and the whole station will explode. Your Phantom Cruiser is trapped in the hangar. So I shall escape to take over another station without your interference. It worked! He's taking off! But we've got big troubles. This station's going to blow in about one minute. What? What happened? Vorvalaka gone, his influence must be wearing off. Get them into the cruiser. I'll try to free the ship. All aboard, Space Coast. I'm almost done. If I can just get these loose without damaging the ship. 
If he doesn't finish up in a few seconds, we're done for! <laughs> Close shave. Nonsense. I got us out of there with easily four seconds to spare. Now it's the Vorvalaka's turn for a surprise. The controls, they're not responding. I'm heading out of the galaxy. No! He'll just drift along back to his home galaxy, where he'll never harm anyone again. Where he'll never scare anyone again. Come now, Jan. You know there's no such things as ghosts. <laughs> In the far reaches of space, there is no such thing as the supernatural. Only strange and otherworldly life forms waiting to be encountered for the first time. And when some of those life forms turn out to be evil, the galaxy is thankful that Space Ghost is on the job. Space Code Part 2. Only one superpower can save us from the crystal creature. But that code message, High Energy Atom Trail, tells us nothing, AC Powell. Well, here's another clue. You can break the code if you get off to a good start. Yeah, but don't break the code and leave a mess. The Space Palace, home of the biggest event of the year, the Space Awards. This year, every superhero in the galaxies is there. Space Ghost, the Teen Force, Space Ace, and of course, Astro and the Space Dogs. With security like that, what criminal would dare show his face? Wait a minute. That's the evil arm of the Crab, the most devious villain in space. <laughs> With my mechanical crab leg, I'll snatch up those silver space awards at the speed of light. And to Space Ace, the outstanding planet patrolman of the year, the space trophy in solid solar silver. Oh, oh, it's it's been stolen. Stolen. Well, looks like a job for Space Ace. And don't forget Astro and the Space Dogs. I wish I could. <laughs> Just as I expected, the sign of the crab. Gentlemen, if you'll excuse me, I've got a crab to nab. Yo! Interplanetary radar has him heading toward the Crab Nebula. You've got to catch him before he gets there, or you won't have enough fuel to return to base. No problem, Chief. It's all in a day's work. Space Ace, don't forget the dogs. Second thought, this may take two days' work. Undeterred by a powerful space storm, Space Ace heroically hurtles forward in the pursuit of the crab. You know something? I don't think we can catch the crab in this storm. Leave the thinking to me, Astro. You just keep bailing water. Aye, aye, Spacey Acey. What's this? A sudden break in the storm? Everything. I think I've got a fix on that creepy crab. Do that to my friend Cosmo, will ya? I got him! I got him! Bookcase, the first got the crab. Anybody want three pups? Cheap. As the crab races for the safety of crab galaxies, Space Ace closes in on his tail. Forget the chase, Ace! You can't win! <laughs> with my Space Ace crab net, we'll see who gets the last laugh. If the crab makes away with that silver trophy from under our noses, Ace, it will be a mockery of justice. Don't worry, Chief. I've got Astro mounting my Space Ace exhaust tracker right now. In no time at all, we'll have a radiant trail of exhaust leading us straight to the crab. 
Okay, Space Ace. It's ready to go. Sure does work great, Rice. Look how clearly <coughs> we can see <coughs> Crab's exhaust. <coughs> Undeterred by the devious devices of the devilish crab, Space Ace fights his way through the terrible meteor storm. Watch out for bumps on the road! He obviously didn't know I'm the Major League Spaceball hitting champ for seven years running. I guess he never had time to work much on his fielding. Rose! There's the crab planet now. <laughs> Home free at last. We're almost close enough to laser lance him, Astro. Calling Space Ace, turn back. You are dangerously low on fuel. I repeat, turn back immediately. I didn't hear anything. Did you? Mm -mm. And by the way, Space Ace, make sure that Astro gets some flight time. I heard that. I know, I know. Okay, team, this is it. Laser Lance, ready! Gyro Jail Jettisons, ready! Gravity Cannon, ready! This is it, guys. We're going in for him. The autopilot on this ship is so efficient, even Astro can't throw it off course. Overcoming one adversity after another, Space Ace eventually lands on the Crab Planet. Another superhero bites the dust. What's this? A bite already? More like a pinch. You're under arrest, Crab. Huh. You arresting me, Space Ace? It looks like you're the one in trouble. Don't bank on it, buddy. <laughs> Good work with the Ace Claw, Space Dogs. There's more than one way to pinch a crab. And as the crab has caught it away to planetary prison, once again the canine rookies have proved their worth. One small step for Space Ace, one big doggy biscuit for the Space Dog. Clumsy. And now, the final space code clue. The coded message, High Energy Atom Trail, tells us what power can defeat the crystal creature. To break the code, just use the first letter of each word and see what power they spell out! Stand by as Space Ghost teams up for the Herculoids next on Space Stars. We now return to our program. Following a trail of planets that have been changed to solid crystal, Space Ghost finally catches the culprit in the act, the Crystal Cyborg. Created a millennia ago by a crystalline race whose own world was dying, the Crystal Cyborg's duty was to transform newer, habitable planets into crystal. His creators are long dead. But Cyborg goes on with his chilling work. We'll have to set down on Quasar. You mean Crash Land? Yes, but I'll try to leave the crash part out of it. That was some piloting, Space Coast. You put us down smooth as glass. Not glass, crystal. Be careful not to touch the outside of the cruiser or you'll be crystallized too. You haven't heard the last of us, Cyborg. We haven't heard the last of him either. Unfortunately, he's landing right here on Quasar. We better find the Herculoids and warn them. We got to stop the Crystal Cyborg. Right. Happy birthday, Tara. Happy birthday, Mother. <laughs> oh, Ego, they're beautiful. Don't worry, Igu, it's the thought that counts. Another batch of flowers coming right up. Space Ghost. What a nice birthday surprise. This day has been full of surprises, Tara. 
Not all of them good. Our cruiser has been crystallized. By the crystal cyborg. And now he's somewhere on Quasar. Which means this entire planet, with everything on it, is in danger of being turned into crystal. seems to have found something. Something frightening. We'd better check it out. Looks like Egu stumbled across the crystal cyborg. We shall follow this trail of crystal and capture him. Careful. Anything that touches the crystal... <coughs> ...becomes crystallized, too. Cyborg's trail is headed north, right past the city of the Rhenians. And from the looks of it, we're too late to help them. Sandor! Space Ghost! Don't come any nearer! Our city is dying, as I am! <laughs> oh no! Flip! Sandor! You must go to Mirror Lake! Stop, Cyborg! There! I will report. I promise. Sandor, while you're checking out Mirror Lake, I'll continue north. The Cyborg always sets up his crystallizer machine at a planet's magnetic north pole. What about Igu and Flip and the Renians? Can they be changed back to normal? Only if we can destroy the Cyborg machinery in the next three hours. After that, it's permanent. Then let's get hustling! Space Ghost said the cyborg manufactures more cyborgs from the minerals in the lake water. Then we have to stop him. Now, blast this machine! <laughs> Cyborg. Oh, a duplicate, but just as dangerous. Oh yeah? Well, he doesn't scare me. Dino, no! <laughs> oh, Sandor, what can we do? I don't know, Tara. I don't know. I've never seen ice so shiny. That's because it's no longer ice, Jace. The entire North Pole of Quasar has been crystallized. Hey, there's the cyborg. Looks like my hunch was right. Going to Inviso Power. Jan, Jace, you wait here. Come on, Zok. <laughs> Space Ghost? Now we put our heads together and think real hard, because we're only going to get one more chance. As the three-hour time limit is about to run out, Xandor and Tara lay a final trap for one of the seemingly invincible cyborgs. The only thing that will scratch a diamond is another diamond. Let's hope the same applies to these creatures. Ready, Xandor. Now! <laughs> Yes, but that's only half the battle. The rest depends on Space Ghost. Over here, Cyborg! No, dummy, over here! <laughs> Missed again, you big 
Run! What's the matter? Can't you shoot straight? You've really got him hot under the collar, guys. But this should cool him off. That didn't work either. There's only one thing left to do. No, Space Ghost. You'll turn to crystal. That's a chance I'll just have to take. Space Ghost, look out! Just a little more. did it. Now let's go see how much damage was done. Remember, anything that stayed crystallized more than three hours stays that way forever. Yeah. Xandor, Tara, you saved us all. Tara and I only defeated one cyborg. Space Ghost must have won his battle, too. Here he comes now. Congratulations, Herculoids. The only thing we couldn't change back in time was our Phantom Cruiser, but it was due for a replacement anyway. Thank you, Igu, but right now your smile is a prettier sight than any flower on Quasar. Lucky Charm is the Frosted Oat cereal with sweet surprises. Pink hearts, yellow moons, orange stars, green clovers, and blue diamonds. Part of a complete breakfast. Oh, they're coming. I'll make a rocket and fly away. Whoops! Frosted Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious. May I help you, sir? If I wanted a Whopper and asked you to hold the pickles and hold the lettuce, would I get to hear you sing? No, sir. You'd get to hear us sing. Hold the pickle, hold the lettuce, special order, known up there. All we ask is that you let us serve in your way. Hey, you got one big hit. Well, the Whopper's one big hamburger. Have it your way. Come on now. Have it your way. coming at you with music and fun. And if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. Hey, hey, hey. I got something to say. Hey, man, look out! What's happening? Fat Albert, what's the idea? I was just struck by a thought. How could it miss such a big target? <laughs> Don't you dudes notice nothing? Yeah, 
I bet nothing. Rudy's not here. Hey, I bet Rudy snuck off early to school so he could see Miss Johnson, the new teacher. That's it. He's trying to get himself in good with her. Where'd Miss Bifocal says she was going? Some place up north. What's it called? North Carolina. Hey, never mind the geography. We're gonna be late. Let's go. Well, I hope she comes back soon. New teachers are for the birds. Yeah, new teachers are Angie. No good. Oh, you don't know that. That's right. You gotta give her a chance, man. I don't gotta do nothing. Aha, that old familiar sound, school. Now, this may come as a shock to some of you, but I went to school too, that's right. And I suppose some of you are wondering how I stood in class. Well, most of the time, in the corner. But you see, as I grew older, I learned that studying was pretty important. So I began to pick up the pieces, with the results being what you see here. Now, don't be smart. <laughs> Anyway, this is going to be an extra special day for Fat Albert and the gang, not to mention their new teacher, Miss Johnson. Good morning, class. I'm your new teacher, Miss Johnson. Now we'll have roll call. Harold? Here. Bucky? Here. Bill? Present. Russell? Here. Albert? Here, <laughs> here. Rudy? Right here, teach. <laughs> <laughs> no class. Rudy, why did you come in the window? Why did I come in the window? Because the transom was closed. <laughs> 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 Sorry, teach. I didn't mean to be a pain. <laughs> Get it? Pain. Window pain. <laughs> that will do. Rudy, please take your seat. Take it where, teach? Now, I would like to start our first day of class without having to scold you. You have my permission. Now, let us get a few things straight from the onset. I am replacing Miss Bryfogel. Miss Bryfogel is taking a leave of absence. While she is away, I expect the same treatment you'd give her. You mean like copying the answers from the other guys when she isn't looking? <laughs> All right, Rudy, come with me. Rudy, I don't want to be hard on you, but I can't have you disturbing things. I want to get along with you as well as all the rest of the class. So I'm willing to overlook what you did today if... If what? If you promise to behave yourself. How about it? Whatever you say, teacher. Well, that does it for today. See you all tomorrow morning. Uh, Miss Johnson. Yes, Russell? I guess you would like to know how us dudes feel about you, don't you? Frankly, Miss Johnson, we decided we don't like you as much as Miss Brightfocal. Poor Miss Johnson, her first day really ended on a high thud. And how about Russell? He sure has a dude a few words. Poorly chosen ones, too. Miss Johnson's road looks a little rocky right now, but that's true for every new teacher. But good old Fat Albert's trying to do a little smoothing for her. Get lost, Fat Albert. And I don't think he's doing such a good job of it. <laughs> Fat Albert, you're cold. Huh? Me? Why? Because you stick up for that old Miss Johnson. Hey, hey, hey. She's okay. Fat Albert, they ought to call you two plus two. Two plus two? Yeah. You're for everybody. For everybody? Man, you don't understand the situation. This is war. We got to let that Miss Johnson know who's boss. We don't want any new teacher walking all over us. She's not going to scare us into learning nothing. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Now, I'm going to tell you to do something. No, you're not. On second thought, you're right. Nobody can tell you nothing. You know why? Because you're dumb. Yeah, you got nothing. Oh, 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 o
give me that. And that. You dudes are the worst, acting like a bunch of dummies. Take this. <laughs> Albert? Throwing erasers? Albert, I'm surprised at you. But I... but... oh... Okay, you dudes, here comes the famous old Rudy Triple Spin Sideways Reverse Dunk Slam with a drop-down upshoot hidden control slow ball so slow you can sell advertising on it. <laughs> you little no-account sneak in the grass. <laughs> cool it. I've just about had it with you. <laughs> One lap or two. You know what bugs me, small fry? It's not the ups and downs. It's the jerks like you. Hey, hey, hey. Listen, Rudy. I want to talk to you. He can't talk to you on account of he's tied up on another line. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a low IQ. A low IQ? Why? So I could enjoy your company. <laughs> Keep out of this, Russell. Me and Rudy's got some talking to do. Okay, Fat Albert, start flapping your lip. Rudy, I'm not too keen on you setting up to take the rap for Miss Johnson on throwing erasers. Rub it from your mind, Fat Albert. Get it? Erasers? Rub? <laughs> it wasn't funny, Rudy. And Miss Johnson said, Uh, who cares about Miss Johnson? She's AC. AC? Yeah. <laughs> AC. Arctic Circle. <laughs> Arctic Circle? What's that mean? Cold. Miss Johnson is cold. Do I got to spell everything out? I wish you spell yourself out. I'll fix that little dude. Ow! Ow! Calm down. You blowing off more steam than my mind's old iron. That's right. Take his side. The shrimp is right. Fat Albert's right. Miss Johnson's right. Everybody's right but me. <laughs> I can't even make a little joke no more without somebody jumping on my back. That's the trouble with the world. No sense of humor. Do you get the feeling that Rudy's backing himself into another corner? I mean, Rudy's attitude sort of reminds me of a couple of uh, these animals here. He's as stubborn as a, that's right, a mule, and as bullheaded as a, well, you got it. And if Rudy doesn't get over his hang-up with Miss Johnson, he's going to get hung out, I'll bet you. What's she hanging up more pictures for? She's just trying to get reaction from us dudes. Well, she's got mine. What do you think of this picture? <laughs> I think it's tilted. No, no. That ain't tilted. It's the Leaning Tower of Pizza Pie. You're close, Albert. It's actually the Leaning Tower of Pizza. Now, does anybody know where Pizza is? In an Italian oven. <laughs> that will do, Rudy. And the word is not I-Italian, it is pronounced Italian. I know where pizza is. It's in Italy. Very good, Bill. Big deal. Cool it, Rudy. Yeah, knock it off. Do any of you know what this is? I know. It's a bathy spear. Excellent, Harold. Well, I'm pleased that you know so much about it. Yeah, I saw it on TV. That French dude, he goes down under the ocean, and he looks at all the neat fish and stuff. That's fine, Donald. Has anyone else seen that program? Yeah, miss. And with the lavish woman, we've learned all about it. sea turtle troubles. Sea turtles? You see one turtle, <laughs> and you've seen them all. <laughs> Come on, man. Knock off the wisecracks. Rudy, I think you've gone just about far enough. I suppose you want me to leave the room again, huh? Precisely. Hallway. Here I come. Not the hallway. Go straight to the vice principal's office. No sign of old Rudy nowhere. 
He must still be in school. You mean the vice principal's office? I wonder what's happening to him. I bet I know. Remember those movies where the bad guys put under the big lights? Well, I bet they send Rudy someplace like that, and he's under one of those big lights right now. Oh, man. They're giving old Rudy the third degree. No, no. Uh, I'll talk. I'll talk. That's why you're here, kid. Huh? You're a big mouth, kid. You talk too much, especially in class. So what? Here's what. Take him to the dungeon. What are they gonna do to me? Hey, Rudy's out of the dungeon. Man, how did you? How did that happen, man? Whoa. I'll tell you what happened. Uh, that old Miss Johnson got me put on a on a prohibition. It's not prohibition. It's probation. <laughs> I, I don't care what you call it. I'm calling it quits. Huh? I've had it with school and Miss Johnson forever or longer or whichever comes first. <laughs> Hey, hit the ball. Yeah, I, I, got it, man. I got it, man. I got it, man. Come on, come on. Well, it looks like old Rudy's gone off the deep end, leaving school and all. He thinks Miss Johnson has it in for him, but if he ever decides to face the facts, he'll discover who the real enemy is. That's right, old Mr. Rudy himself. Wonder how Rudy's absence is affecting the gang. Hey, ball in play. Got it. <laughs> Don't you again? <laughs> about another game. <laughs> Saved by the bell. Man, Fat Albert's team sure clobbered us. Yeah, but it wouldn't have happened if our star hitman Rudy was here. What's wrong, Russell? Don't mind Russell, Miss Johnson. He's mad because his side lost the volleyball game. What has that to do with me? You see, Rudy's their star hitman, and he wasn't here on account of he's dropping out of school. Rudy? Dropping out? Yeah, he says he's had it with... I mean, with school. Albert, take over the class for a few moments. I have to go to the vice principal's office. I'm never going back to school again. Mudfoot. Oh. Howdy, boy. Isn't that the hard way to break the ice? Dumb bench. You're absolutely right. I thought it was mean of this old bench to kick you when you wasn't looking. Oh, oh nothing's breaking right. Except maybe your foot. Where's the rest of your bunch? In dumb school, of course. They're going to school to learn dumbiness. You know what I mean. Anyway, I'm dropping out. Well, you're lucky. What are you talking about? You don't have to go to school to learn dumbness. You're doing better on your own. <laughs> yes, sir. Could I help it if that new teacher, Miss Johnson, is on my case all the time? Oh, so that's the scam. Great big scary new lady teacher is picking on you, huh? Cool it, Mudfoot. You don't know her. Maybe I don't know her, but I know you, champ. Champ? Yep, you're the world champ at taking a run and jump at conclusions. Who needs this? Now, just hold on. It seems to me you ought to give this new teacher a fair trial before you condemn her. Trial? I'm the one who had the trial. Even a cool-headed dude like me can only take so much. Mm-hmm. Boy, did you ever hear the school of hard knocks? Well, I graduated magna cum laude. So I got this real bad new job once working for a mean dude. His name was Iron Jaw John. I was unloading 500 sacks of heavy, dirty, messy stuff. 
<laughs> and I wouldn't have done it, but the only kind of job you can get when you drop out of school is that kind of job. Now, no matter how fast I work, it wasn't fast enough for old Iron Jaw. It got so bad I had to unload the whole thing at once. <laughs> That job was a terrible strain. Before I did that, I used to be able to do this. <laughs> and I haven't been able to do it since. All on account of the fact I didn't finish school. Well, uh, uh, but you weren't there to see the rough hassle that Miss Johnson gave me. And you don't know what a rough hassle life's gonna give you if you don't get back to school and try and get along with that teacher. Well, it looks like Rudy's having second thoughts about Miss Johnson. And you know, she really hasn't treated him that badly. Class dismissed. See you tomorrow, Miss Johnson. Bye, Miss Johnson. Goodbye now. Yes, Russell? You know what, Miss Johnson? What? We decided we like you better now. Coming back to school, huh? Well, I, I, I don't. That's great. I knew you were too smart to stay away. Now, just a minute, Fat Albert. I haven't... Oh, yeah. You know what? Miss Johnson really turned out to be okay. I got to go now and do my homework. I'll see you in class tomorrow, okay? But, but... Could I talk to you a second? Of course. Uh, I, uh, I, uh... Yes? Uh, I... I think... I think maybe I was a little, uh... Oh, uh, wrong. Uh... I can't hear you, Rudy. Uh, uh... I'm sorry I smarted off of class and I won't do it anymore and I want to come back. You know, Rudy, I think you and I can prove that a new teacher and the whole class can get along. Well, we can't be too sure where Rudy's headed, but at least it looks like he's back on the right track. And he won't get derailed once he realizes that you have to give everybody a chance, even a new teacher. And she has a lot of good thoughts to offer you, if you're open to her, even if it takes a little extra effort. Kids have a song about it, so lend an ear. <laughs>
Supervillains and superheroes figures, each sold separate. Here, Doctor Doom and the Doom Platoon. Magneto, Doctor Octopus. There, Captain America and the Champions of Freedom. Spider-Man and Wolverine. Secret Wars. The secret's out. Doctor Doom and Spider-Man. The Marvel Secret Wars collection. Other figures, each sold separate. From Mattel. What? My brother's in trouble. How do you know? I know. You know those head healing. Cobra's hired evil twin brothers, leaders of the Crimson Guard. They're devil twins so much the same. Your feelings in trouble, your father feels pain. The Crimson Guard's the most dangerous foe. G.I. Joe. Can G.I. Joe stop the Crimson Guard? Find out in Marvel Comics. He's always there, fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe's there! G.I. Joe is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose? To defend human freedom against Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. He never gives up, he'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. What do you make of it, Flint? Why would the Northern Lights suddenly go haywire? And who's buzzing the base? Oh, oh, it's your flying fool girlfriend. Lady J? She's not. Get that girl in tow before I kick her in the afterburner. Come on, get a move on. Now! I cut short my furlough and gave up an African safari. This better be good. Depends on how you define good. Duke wants you to meet some people. There's a disturbance in the Aurora Borealis. It may be melting the polar ice cap. What? Are you kidding? That could flood every coastal city on Earth. You catch on fast. Duke wants snow job you and I to escort a UN science team to the Arctic Circle to investigate. There they are. Dr. Johansson, Lady J. Ah, delighted. Uh, can't we speed up the loading process, Flint? The situation up north is becoming critical. We'll be taking off within the hour, sir. I'm amazed you barbarous thugs can do anything constructive. Um, Dr. Intwistle, our geologist. My pleasure. It's certainly not mine. This is supposed to be a scientific expedition, not an invasion. All this military hardware is unnecessary. And frankly, unwelcome. Just a second, sweetheart. At ease, Lady J. Get your gear stowed, ma'am. Yes, sir. Right away, Mr. Joe, sir. People like that give me a pain. We're only going along to protect the expedition. Look out! It's gonna topple! Who's the joker running that crane? I'll bust you down to private! 
Huh? Nobody home. Maybe someone got careless and left it in gear. Yeah, or maybe it was sabotage. Snow job, scout ahead. I'd like to keep this expedition from falling through the ice. Gotcha, Flint. Oh, and no side trips to sell refrigerators to Eskimos. Ah, uh, would I do a thing like that? Move them out. You too. Bad news, Flint. No direct route to the Aurora. We'll have to circle this gap. That'll take hours. We'd better camp here. I'll draw up a guard roster. How typically macho and paranoid. Next, I suppose you'll want to draft us. Brother, would I love to put her through boot camp. What's that? Snowjump, let's get out of here. I was trying to, lady. Somebody's trying to kill us. Nonsense. Oh, really? I suppose the snowcat hotwired itself and chased us around of its own accord. Ionization from the Aurora started the motor. The machine simply ran wild. I bet. Telephone. Hurry. What's the condition of the ice, Snowjob? Pitiful. Turning into slush. If it gets much warmer, the snow cats will sink. Hovercraft would be perfect up here. What's going on back there? Now we'll see who our saboteur is. Gotcha! <laughs> On second thought, help yourself. Come on, Flint! Hey! You forgot something! Me! Faster! He's getting away! Where did he go? Try over there! What's that? Awesome! Totally awesome! Cobra! What do you figure they're up to? They're behind the disturbance in the Aurora. We'd better get back and... Not a bad guess for a G.I. Joe. Imp Whistle, what are you doing here? A warning flare! Sound the alarm! You're crazy! No, not crazy. Merely your enemy! The Baroness! <laughs> We've got to warn the base! Follow them! Joe! Stop them! We're gonna make it! We made it. More or less. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. We're down to two choices. Either we plow straight through them, or we let them run over us. Some choice. Yo, Joe! Hope 
Cobra doesn't find us or the others. What happened out there? Do you think Flint and Snowjump? I don't know. Hurry! Take cover! Surrender! You are trapped in Cobra's fangs! Yeah, well, pick your fangs with this! prisoner and your friends will soon join you aren't you the cockeyed optimist keep searching for those two miserable joes why the tranquilizer darts cobra commander wants the joes taken alive you in there joe <laughs> Take him back to base. When he wakes, he'll make a fine pet for Cobra Commander. Grab that fang. Tell him to send hovercrafts. What about you? I'm gonna try to radio headquarters from Cobra's own base. Where do you come from? I'm sorry, Flint. You stinking... So, Flint, you disapprove of our little project. We don't get our kicks from mass destruction, Destro. Consider it a form of hygiene. We're giving the world a much needed bath. The Ion Attractor generates forces strong enough to pull down the Aurora Borealis. The ions melt the ice, eventually raising the water level 80 feet around the world. Every coastal city will be flooded. And then with the world in chaos, Cobra strikes! Brilliant, Destro. I bet you take first prize at the science fair. Beware, Lady J. With so sharp a tongue, you could cut your own throat. Take them away! I gotta get up! A hovercraft! I gotta! The Polar Troopers still haven't found the last G.I. Joe. Could he have survived? Most unlikely. Is Firefly ready to create our little diversion? He is. Then unleash him! The Joes are planning something big. Baroness was right. Ain't fueled up yet. A little acid will do the trick. Uh, it's okay, Ant Whistle. Don't blame yourself. Nobody can fight Cobra alone. That's why there's a Joe team. Thanks to you, we know Cobra's involved in these disasters. Can you save my friends? You just watch us, ma'am.
Naganok Indian village. What you doing all alone out there? Radio. Call. Joe Seven Niner. You dad blamed idiot. No wonder they call you Ripcord. Duke, look at this. Somebody put something in the fuel. We gotta warn the others. Fast! Holy Hannah! We've been sabotaged! Firefly, I want to give you something. I have something for you, too, Duke. Oh, no. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Firefly pumped acid into the main fuel lines. And we pumped the fuel into our jets and turned our own planes into firebombs. Yes, nice of us to oblige him, wasn't it? Now, if we want to fly to the Arctic, we have to fly standby. Don't bet on it. Call J-O-E. He's delirious. Seven, nine, niner, call. So how do we get out of here? Any bright ideas? Push the button on my watch. From the halls of my to the shores of we will fight our country's battles on the land on the sea. You're gonna clam up, or do we have to? Yo, Joe! Can you figure out how it works? I think so. Destro always uses the same basic design layouts. I'll remember that in the future. Destro, hold your fire. Surely two such formidable foes deserve a sporting chance. <laughs> this is JOE 79er. Repeat, message unclear. Your man in bad shape. Got a big dose of some tranquilizer. Keeps mumbling something about snakes and the aurora. That cinches it. Cobra's behind the disasters. Yeah, and Snowjob's a gunner if we don't get him some help, but fast. Which presents a small problem with all our Sky Strikers in flames. All but one. Lady J's plane never got a taste of Firefly's hot sauce. Duke. There ought to be just enough clean fuel in the tanks for a one-way flight to the Great White North. I'm all out of gas. End of the line, guys. Wish me happy landings. Yo, Joe! Snow job. Hang on, pal. You're gonna pull through. Ripcord. Never thought your ugly puss could look so good. Holy cow, Cobra! They're melting the polar ice! We figured. They got a large surprise coming their way. Terrific! He remembers us, and not fondly. <laughs> oh, 
That's another one I owe you. Yo, Joe! Yo, Joe! Yahoo! Let's fricassee those snakes! What's that? Sounds like the cavalry's arrived. They must not reach the ion attractor. Destroy them. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> that way, the ion attractor. I see you have never learned the difference between courage and stupidity, but I will be pleased to teach you. It's not shutting off. I know. I'm setting it to full power. Your what? What the blazes? Ice is melting. Their whole base is going under. <laughs> Adios, chumps. Hovercraft don't sink. are getting away. Duke and Cutter will take care of them. Drop depth charges. That ought to ring their chimes. Beautiful, isn't it? From a distance. He's better looking from a distance, too. You're not just gonna let him nap there, are you, Duke? I have a policy about ten-foot bears. Lady, as far as I'm concerned, they can sleep anywhere they want. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. The Autobots create a new breed of robot, Dinobots. Transformers. <laughs> 
from Hasbro. Jets look sickeningly familiar. They're Decepticons, Trailbreaker. I'd recognize their slimy contrails anywhere. Hey, wait up for me! Thundercracker, attention, transform! <laughs> no Earthmate steel is going to be strong enough. I'm in charge here, and if I say it's strong enough, it is. Great working with you, Starscream. What do you mean, working? Looks more like stealing to me. And I'm talking steal. Out of my way, you Autobot lucky. <laughs> Take us so long, Trailbreaker. It's fighting time. Correction, Autobot. As far as you're concerned, it's losing time. That's what I call bringing the house down! <laughs> We're too late, Trailbreaker. The Steel Steelers are long gone. Oh, hexagonal nuts! We better roll back to headquarters and report. <laughs> It's puzzling. Why did the Decepticons take those steel beams? Any thoughts, Bumblebee? Just one, Prime. Spike, launch the satellite. One Sky Spy coming up. If the Decepticons are cooking up something, we'll zero in on it soon enough. The Incan legend is true, Megatron. This pyramid rests on a shaft heading down into the Earth's molten core. Then if the rest of the legend is accurate, I will soon be master of the Crystal of Power. <sighs> Magnificent! Bring me the weapon frame you and Thundercracker made from the stolen steel. I hope it is stronger than your customary resolve in battle. Don't question my strength or the strength of this frame, Megatron. It will serve. Forgive me, Starscream. You have done an excellent job. For now, the power of Earth's fiery core will serve the Decepticons. The Sky Spies over the Andes Mountains in Peru. Uh-oh, it's picking up a weird energy reading in those ruins. Excellent, Laserbeak. It seems we have an intruder, but... Not for long! What happened? Look! What is it? A star? The power that destroyed it came from the ruins! The ancient gods have returned to punish us! No, Grandmother, the ancient gods are history! But if the crystal of power has been rediscovered, we have much to fear! <laughs> the crystal is superb. The power of absolute destruction is mine. 
You mean ours, don't you, Lida? Yes, of course. I have you to thank for this worthless weapon frame. Don't blame me. Thundercracker swiped Infective Steel. Not I. It was his fault. You lie, Starscream. Silence, you fool. <laughs> you and Starscream remain here to guard the crystal. Skywalk, watch them. See they do no further damage. <laughs> There is a mining town nearby. We'll find enough metal there to build a workable weapon frame for the crystal. Any who stand in our way will be demolished. Keep pounding, Sideswipe. He'll turn up soon. He better. It's cold enough to freeze the ailerons off for a titanium moose bot. Bingo! It's Skyfire. Skyfire, are you warm enough to transform? I... I hope so. Thanks, Wheeljack. I just about had it with the deep freeze treatment. Head back to Autobot headquarters on the double. You gotta pick up Brawn and Windcharger and fly to the Andes Mountains. Brawn, Windcharger, there's a Decepticon formation below. It's that traitor, Skyfire! You sure you two don't need my help? We got it covered, Skyfire. You check out the mysterious energy readings in those ruins. And when you get back, we'll let you play kick the can with what's left of Megatron and his merry machines. Okay, Windcharger, let's go. The Autobot jet is afraid to fly. Wrong again, you dipstick tape deck. We just didn't want him to spoil our fun. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> must have a blowout in your logic circuits. There's no way a midget like you can handle the mighty Megatron. <laughs> Ouch! I think old Laser Breath may have a point. Let's peel out of here, Braun. And miss all the fun? Remind me to discuss your definition of fun sometime. I'm contacting Skyfire. Too close for comfort. Come in, Skyfire. Read you loud and clear, little buddy. I'm switching on my afterburners. Ouch! Hey, that's murder on my audio receptors. You're celebrating too soon, Bron. Finish him, Soundwave! Charger, Skyfire. I hate to say it, but if you don't get me out of here fast, there won't be enough of me left for spare parts. Prepare for oblivion. The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. Charger, I'm the readiest. Looks like Laserbeak's ready, too. I'll take care of this personally. All right, guys, this is it. Five, four, three, two. I'm coming, Braun, baby. One. Let's go. Thanks, guys. If either of you had been one astrosecond later, I'd have been a pile of piston dust. What are friends for? Speaking of friends, let's go back to headquarters and rustle up a few more. We've got something big on our hands. Okay, everyone.
everyone. Buckle up for safety. Next stop, Peru. Prime, if my sensors are in sync, Megatron's heading for a mining town just up the road. Good luck at the Inca Temple. Thanks. I'll take all I can get. Autobots, roll! <laughs> I'm too darn big to sneak around like this. I'd say Decepticons are in the neighborhood. I sure hope so. Me and Windcharger got a score to settle. Welcome to the club. Let's get them. <laughs> now, Autobots, finish them off. Just what I always wanted. Let's see how Megatron likes a dose of his own medicine. Now that was a kick. Bring that back, you bird brain! No one does that to me and continues to function! Roll for it, Bumblebee! Hang on, kids, it's not over yet. These evil creatures, they are the ones who stole the ancient crystal of power. Watch the birdie laser beat. What's this crystal of power? I have created a steel alloy suitable for our weapon frame. Leave Starscream and Thundercracker to watch the crystal and come immediately. How dare you assign me to guard duty, Megatron? I am Starscream the Mighty! Have a good time playing Crystal Nerd, Screamer. Bye! This secret passageway leads to the Inca Temple. Operation Elimination. I must destroy their new weapon. Yeah, but even without our new weapon, I can fry your circuits extra crispy. Megatron would love it. But that geeky star screen would take all the credit. On the other hand, if I let you wreck our new weapon, Megatron might blame Starscream. Which would make me very happy. Thundercracker! You putrid traitor! So much for the Autobot intruder. And as for you, traitor, from now on you will do exactly what this geeky Decepticon tells you, or I'll report your treachery to Megatron and I'll have you melted into welding rods! Skywalk here, reporting for duty. Decepticons! We now have all the steel we need for the weapon frame! Onward to victory! For our friends, a little going away present. The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. 
Autobots. Weapons ready. Commence firing! leads to the temple? Yes, I have come this way before. Starscream and Thundercracker, Skyfire is an excellent catch. In fact, once we rewire his logic circuits, he may even become one of us. And far more valuable than the two of you. Look! It's Skyfire, and he's hurt! <laughs> Perfect! Absolute perfection! Unbelievable, Spike. There's more energy here than intense Cybertronic Energon smelters. The Ancient Ones knew many things. I wish one of those Ancient guys was here now. The circuitry's way beyond me. Just what we need! A visiting Decepticon! Keep working, Spike. I'll keep him busy. Get involved! Skyfire! All right! Thomas, old buddy! This is what separates the Autobot from the Robot Chicken! Ain't no one calling me a Robot Chicken! that to my buddy! What did you fall? Fuses goodbye, Autobots! You'll pay for this, Skyfire! 
Yes, again, Megatron! Decepticons! Retreat! What's the matter, fearless leader? You and Starscream look real geeky. Maybe the Autobots aren't such twins after all. Does he have to make that awful thunder noise? I've got a headache. And they call themselves Decepticons. I shall be avenged, Autobots. I shall. To regulate the energy, the whole mountain could explode. With Wheeljack's inventions, you never can tell. Okay, Skyfire, let's cap this energy gusher. Wheeljack, you did it. If I could see you, I'd shake your hand. Hey, guys, that's our cue. Thanks, Auto Buddies. You know, it sure is nice when one of my inventions actually works. Yeah, well, it's not that we had any doubts, Wheeljack. But you don't suppose we could... Get a fast ride back to town? We're on our way. And when we get back home, I want Bumblebee to meet my brother's convertible. We call her Juanita. And I think the two of them will get along just fine. Aw, shucks. The Transformers will return after these messages. trading card. You gotta have it. The first cereal box that glows in the dark. There's something strange in the neighborhood. So who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Each sold separately. Have no fear. Venkman, Stamp, and Spangler are here. So are these ghosts. They've got ectoplasm. We've been goofed. Now what? Stay puffed Marshmallow Man. Let's show this pile of dessert who's boss. Activate Neutrona Blaster. We ain't afraid of no ghosts. Peter Venkman, Ectoplasm, Stay puffed Marshmallow Man, and other figures each sold separately. Ghostbusters, new from Kenner. Now return to the real Ghostbusters. I'm 
telling you, Sam, the excitement is so thick here, you could cut it with a knife. The plane with its very special passengers was supposed to leave half an hour ago. Everyone's wondering the same thing. Where are the Ghostbusters? Ray, the airport is the other direction. Ray? Just one more. You almost got him. It's like talking to a fish. It's a chartered jet feeder. It's physically impossible to be late for a plane that won't leave without you. Right. Besides, we'll have this guy wrapped up in five seconds. Three, two, one, now! <laughs> uh, we're um, <laughs> uh, running out of time, but uh, uh, the Ghostbusters should be here any time. Uh, meanwhile, let's take a, a, another look at this brief history of the Ghostbusters. I hope they can make it. Yeah, so the boys said they'd stop by and say goodbye before they left for California. Bye. 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 Wait, fellas. Bye. Bye. You gotta go away. On second thought, serves them right. Ghostbusters, no, they're not here. That's right, they went to California to make a movie and they didn't take me with them so I could answer your crummy call. Okay, start the celebrations. The Ghostbusters are... Hey, where's everybody? I'll tell you where they are. They went home. Everybody's gone. They even cut off my live feed. Do you have any idea what I look like? Only a fool would stick around for this. Yay. You know, I'll just bet you have a high sugar diet. Hello! I hate this business! What? We're on? Live? Network? Wait, wait, come back! Uh, <laughs> this is the, I mean, that is, I mean, that was. Uh, uh, the Ghostbusters were just um, a, a second ago. Uh, the crowds were absolutely. Oh, my career is over. Yay. luggage off the plane over Cleveland? It's nothing I can't replace. Hey, wait a minute. These are all empty. It's like somebody ate them. Wait a minute. Who could eat a bunch of honey peanuts without opening the package? Slimer! studio. Wow, this is really fantastic. It looks just like the real thing. That's why we wanted you here to advise us, make sure we're doing it right. After all, this is your life story. No problem, as long as you got the right people to play us. Admit it, Redford was dying to play me, right? Not exactly. Here's the cast list. Murray, Aykroyd, 
and Ramus. What's that, a law firm? And that's the script. We'd love your advice as long as we don't have to change anything. Now, if you'll follow Bob, he'll show you the rest of the studio. How's it look? Well, it's in English. Is that good or bad? Okay, now we've got human stuff to do. So you wait here and stay out of trouble, okay? You're sure the trap door was supposed to be here? Yeah, but it hasn't been opened in 20 years. Isn't that big accident back in... That's got it. Come on, let's get the equipment. And this, of course, you'll recognize as the garage, the office. Uh, let's see, was it... Oh, uh, uh, yeah, this way. And this is, uh, the containment unit? No, wait, it, it must be this way. Uh, I'm so sorry, but that's the wrong answer. You don't win the washer-dryer, but you do get a wonderful consolation prize. Uh, Peter, there's something here. Yes, that's right. Here it is. Your own genuine, authentic... Monster? Yeah! So that's what's behind door number three. Look out! It's gonna jump! Now! Stop! Huh? Stop! Cut! That's a machine, you fool! Yes, Ray? I think we just made a slight error in judgment. Good guess. Get these men off my set! We are making a movie here! Space Avengers of the Galaxy! Nobody blows up anything in my movie unless I tell them to! Now just hang on here a minute! Nobody talks to us like that! We're the Ghostbusters! And I am a director! I talk to anybody any way I want! Oh, yeah? Yeah! I have to hand it to you, Peter. I've never seen anyone do that to a man's pants before. Yeah, well, I still say you should have let me blast them. Proton beams are only supposed to be used on ghosts. I can take care of that. Uh, uh, gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, don't change the subject. Uh, it, it might be a good idea to leave your proton packs uh, someplace uh, safe. Hey. Look at all this equipment, just like the stuff at home. Uh, except that they're props. Uh, none of them work. They just look the same. If you leave your packs here, nobody will bother them. Uh, you can leave that, too, if you like. Not if you paid me. Strange. For a second, I seemed to get a reading, and then it was gone. Must be all the electrical equipment around here. And now, if you'll just come this way, there are some people just dying to meet you. Okay, this is the place. Deliver prop proton packs, it says. Done. Eight protons. Wait, eight? It says here four. They want four, they get four. Come on, give me a hand getting these things back into storage. Funny, these are heavier than the others. Oh, well, let's go. Are you finished yet? I need the Megazoid in working order for the next shot. Will you be quiet? <laughs> What the? Where are you going? We have a movie to make. It's just a machine. A fake? Nothing personal, of course. <laughs> Same stunt twice. Yeah, yeah, very impressive. Peter, I think you should know I'm getting very high readings off that thing. Mm-hmm. Next thing you'll be telling me there's a ghost inside it. Precisely. I'd say that's a 
yes, wouldn't you? Okay, well, I'm ready. Let's get that thing. Okay, Buster, I hope you have a hall pass, because otherwise you're in a lot of trouble. Okay. Let him have it! What? what? Hey. Fakes. They're props. Well, Peter, you were right. Someone is in a lot of trouble. Unfortunately, you forgot to say it's us. Oops. We now return to the real Ghostbusters. I'm sorry, sir. There's been a slight problem. We've had to evacuate everyone from the studio. But the Ghostbusters are on the scene. I'm sure they have everything well in hand. Ray, can I speak with you for a moment? Ow! Watch where you step in. Yeah, what is it? Any ideas on how we can get out of this? Yeah, several. Good. Unfortunately, they all call for us to be about 3,000 miles east of here. If I can make a suggestion, I've adjusted my PKE meter and the spare to pick up the particle beam energy of our proton packs. Terrific! So if we split up into two teams, we increase the chance of finding them faster. Exactly. It'll give the survivors a much better chance. The survivors, Egon? And you wonder why you're not invited to more parties. All right, let's go! The door is open. The door is open. The door is open. The door is open. The door is a mess. The car is a mess. The I said quiet. Oh, wow! Hey, Winston, this is where they make all the deadly Dr. Crowley movies. Uh-huh. Now you think we can keep... You don't understand. These are classics. This is where he first brought his creature to life. By just pressing this button. Wow. Look at this stuff. This is great. And over there, that's where the monster rose when he brought it to life. Oh, man. I'll never forget that scene. The monster was huge, frightening, big as life, and twice as ugly. And then, then when Dr. Crowley saw the monster, he stepped back in horror and he said, Quiet. No, no, he said, I think we better get out of here. That's it. That's what he said. Was that great or was that... Whoa! That stuff about being as big as life and twice as ugly? I didn't... I mean, it was just... Bye! I told you those movies were bad for you. Hey, Slimer! <laughs> what is it, Egon? Did you find our stuff? Not exactly. Here, look at this. What do you make of it? Well, it's dark and it's deep. I'd make it a hole, but that's just an opinion, you understand. Exactly. This is where the ghost was hiding. According to these readings, it was a sleeping ghost. Certain kinds of ghosts spend eternity looking for a nice, quiet place to sleep. When they're awakened, they're very cranky. So you think it's noise that makes this thing violent? Almost certainly. I'd better warn the others. Come in, Ray. Come in, Ray. You there? Yeah, Peter. What do you want? Shh, shh. Stop that. Ray, it ain't 
much noise, so be quiet, okay? Oh, okay. Got it, Peter. Over and out. You know, Winston, I was thinking. Maybe losing our proton packs was a good thing. Maybe we should defeat this thing with our wits, our courage, our imagination, our... You're right. Let's find those proton packs and blow this pop stand. That's it. They've got to be in there. Not bad. If you could do that with lost keys, we could make a fortune. Great. Winston, we found him. We'll meet you back at the firehouse set. If you see it, try and get the thing to follow you. I, uh, don't think that'll be a problem, Peter! It's about time you got here. I've got a two million dollar Megazoid in there. Those Ghostbusters are gonna ruin it. We'll stop that thing our way, without damaging it. Now let's go! Hey, glad you could make it. Did you find you-know-who? <laughs> Ask a silly question? Rubble. <laughs> Look out below! Peter! Ega! In case of monster attack, always head for a doorway. This concludes our safety tip for today. Ray, now! Noise! Too much noise! Be quiet! Noise? Mister, you ain't heard nothing yet. It's up in the catwalk. Get it! No! Fire up there and we'll bring the whole place down on us. Wait. Let it make the next move. There! Blast him! Oh. 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 Blast him. Ray, wouldn't it have been a lot easier on our wardrobe to just get out of the way? Kind of got carried away, I guess, huh? <laughs> If only we could make it understand that in the final analysis, we're trying to help it. There's no place quieter than the containment unit at home. It'd have all the peace and quiet at once. Maybe. But how do you explain that to something you can't talk to because it gets mad at the noise? Of course. That's it. Why didn't I see it earlier? Egon? Egon, put that back on. What do you think you're doing? This is no time to give up, Egon. I'm not. But if I'm wrong, you're going to need that. Cover me, but don't do anything unless I say so. Okay, I'm here. Come on down. No, the man said to wait. We'll give him his shot. I just wish I knew what he was planning. I think I know. And if I'm right, it's brilliant. I knew it. He's using sign language. That way he doesn't have to make any noise. What's he saying? <laughs> yeah, I knew I should have learned that stuff a long time ago. Look, he's saying, please trust us. We can give you the silence you want. <laughs> Come out and let us help you. All we Okay. We'll need absolute quiet for the next ten seconds. Oh. Ah, there it is there, my machine! Protect it from that thing! Get it! <laughs> Crumbs. Okay, fire! Keep it steady. Just another second. Steady. Steady. 
One pain in the neck down, one to go. Don't do it, Pete. He's not worth it. I had to protect my investment. This machine is worth $2 million. Yeah, well, these guys could have been hurt in the process. Did you ever think of that? I've got a movie to make, and we've got to stay on schedule. For that, I need my machine in one piece. Look out! My movie! My fortune! My... Hmm. Kind of reminds me of your last movie. I... I... I hey, I, cheer up. <laughs> Maybe we'll send you a couple of tickets to our movie when it comes out. Bye! I know we're running out of time, Sam. In fact, the premiere of the Ghostbusters movie started 30 seconds ago, so I'm sure they'll be here any second. If you can just hold on. What? Hey, sorry to be late for the premiere of our own movie, but we ran across four full torso vapors, and we just couldn't... Forget it! We're off the air. I can't believe you did this to me again. Again! I'm going home now. Good night! The price of fame, guys. Now let's go. I'm going to turn over the next card, and I want you to tell me what it is. You know, he doesn't look a thing like me. Cycle and Captain America each sold separately. Batteries not included. Let's roll. Two roller. That first wheel can't stop the turbo cycle. Change course. Doom roller. Now, turbo cycle, you're doomed. Doom roller and turbo cycle vehicles from the Marvel Superhero Secret Wars collection each sold separately. Action figures also sold separately. New from Mattel. Thundering across the stars to save the universe from the monster minds. Jay searches for his father to unite the magic root and lead his lightning league to victory over the changing form of Saw Boss. Wheeled warriors explode into battle. Lightning strikes. There's a power that comes from deep inside of you.
planet Dynax 4 has been subdued, my lord. The vines are growing? Everywhere! Wait, Excellency! A native ship might have escaped. This will please you. It's the Lightning League. What's their heading? They're on their way to Sector 417, course T-24 by R-8. Activate the Second Legion. They'll rendezvous with Saw Trooper Commander at Radex 9. We're going to leave the Lightning League a little invitation. Radex 9? That's a terrible place. What a great idea. It is a wretched place. And it will be the last place those meddling humans ever see. Unleash the forces of the Black Light! It's a signal from my father. It's gotta be. It is! It is! The signs we see are oft times the signs we want to see. Gillian, can't you see that? I see a marker in the shape of a root that could have been made by those who'd have our lives. We have to find out. And I see a planet that will likely cease to exist in a matter of hours. A volcano down in there is getting hot enough to cook eggs. How long till it blows? Ten hours? Give or take a couple of minutes. That's still enough time to see if my father's down there. We could be flying into a trap. <laughs> it's the kid's style, you know? And this wasn't carved by any equipment Audric could carry. Then who did carve it? It could have been here 10,000 years. Ten hours from now, it will not matter.
Anybody know when summer gets here? Ten hours from now, the Lightning League will cease to exist. It was a great plan, O oh Lord of the Universe. The ice fell just the way you said it would. At last, the universe is mine. If we can get the hatch open, Drill Sergeant could burrow its way through. No way to get the ramp down. What about that? It's a cargo hatch. Can we get the vehicles up to it? Well, it's worth a try. He'll find a way to get us out. Ice in the snow? Stop the volcano. Save our world. Stop a volcano? You gotta be kidding. Our world is going to die, and we will die with it. Don't you have any secret spells for stopping volcanoes? We don't want to die. Stopping that volcano is the only way to buy the time we need. You can't stop a volcano. We can try, but we'll need your help. You and your people. to the volcano. Command acknowledged. Spike trike, collect dice. Jace, you're crazy. It's the only chance we've got. If we can pour enough ice into that volcano, we can cool it down. We pile the ice behind the dam, and as soon as there's enough, we let it go. It'll work. <laughs> yeah, maybe in a week. You got nine hours. I'll get shot at. I'll freeze half to death. I'll even wait for my money. But pal. I'm no ditch digger. Especially when it's a lost cause. I'm for taking the emergency cruiser and blasting out of here. Well, we all do what we have to do. Diamonds. What? This planet is an untouched mine. 
a shovel. I thought you were going. We do what we have to do, you know? Diamond? Save themselves by saving the planet. Never unleash my legions. Faster. Diamond? Oh, rats! Ah, I haven't had this much exercise since I was 300. Nobody runs all over my diamond mine. We can't let them slow us down. Nothing slows us down. Mine messer! Fire! Mega launcher, fire! I can't see! Thank you! to work everybody not yet hot shot everybody don't stop working no matter what Chase! You can't! They're making us lose precious time. They're trying to keep us from stopping the volcano. Make them fail, Master! Drill Sergeant! Spike Trike! Battle Program! <laughs> Lightning gun, fire!
All that's left is that monster. Laser blast. Time. Let's get back to work. Spike trike, speed it up. Arm force, double time. It's not enough ice. It's not working. All we've got is one chance. We have to keep digging. Jace! Monster Mine Flowers. Herc, take the emergency cruiser and get out. Go on. And take Flora and Gillian with you. What about you? I'm the only one who can command all our vehicles. You gotta come with us. I just can't forget about them. And I won't risk their lives. I'm not going. Nor I. Well, uh, looks like I'm staying too. And there's those diamonds, you know. This planet is doomed. Not yet. What's he doing? Jace! Hey, here I am. Hey, we're not afraid of you. Come on, hit me if you can. Yeah, we're not afraid of you. Come on, go! Cover the volcano! Yeah! Cover everything! We did it, Master! We did it! We froze the volcano and the monster mines! You are our friend forever. And you. If you're ever in this sector, please visit. You're always welcome. Sure, we'd be glad to. Now then. Hey, uh, there's no hurry, you know. <laughs> I want to do a little more diamond hunting. Diamonds? Uh, <laughs> Gillian found them. Was it this? Uh, oh.
the real ninja, evil master of martial arts. Will Clamp Champ get a hold of him? I have the power. Figure sold separately. You from the masters of the universe, ninja and Clamp Champ. Evil skill against steel grip. Look, there's the Milky Way. Gee, Donald, is that where McDonald's delicious shakes come from? No, they come from Bessie over there. Oh, 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 do you know what that means? I'm growing fast in these years. The milk's given me a lot of what I need for strong bones, beautiful skin, and a great smile. And by the time my outside catches up with my inside, I'll have long since outgrown you. And you'll be history. Milk, it does a body good. This is a UFO. An unidentified floppy object. It's nerf, of course. You can fold it up. Put it in your pocket. Take it anywhere. And this thing really flies. But what I like best is that it's easy to catch. See? And it's Nerf. So if you miss one or two, it doesn't hurt. Be on the lookout for the new Nerf unidentified floppy object. You can't miss them. There's only one Nerf. As you hide the news, you I want to tell him. I want to tell him. Gentlemen, the news is riveting, riveting, absolutely riveting. What the boys are trying to say is that Parker Brothers, Popeye, Cubert, and Pogger are not only available for the Atari 2600, but for the Commodore 64 home computer, Atari 5200, and ColecoVision. About as close to real arcade graphics and action as you can get. One thing I hate since a push the announcer. Popeye, Cubert, and Frogger. Also for all Commodore, Atari systems, and TI. Now's your nose. <laughs> Surrender, or pay the consequences. Earth's most powerful soldiers, or Earth's last chance to fight the spiral Darkness has fallen on the victims of the sun. Writers, looks like we're coming to a commercial. Let's fight the zone. Another of Overlord Zones. But it's in the middle of wilderness. Maybe Overlord made a mistake. Overlord doesn't make mistakes, Cat. He's up to something. Well, I say let him have all the sand and kangaroos he wants. We got more important things to worry about. Well, I beg to differ, Tank. There's an old power relay station still operating in that quadrant. It's 
hooked into the Womera microwave grid, which supplies power to the entire island nation of Oceanica. And I vacationed there once. Marvelous. Anyway, a break in the grid would shut off energy to millions of people and to all the defense systems there. Okay, team. We're heading down under. Hit it! generator without checking with me Razorback. That was foolish. Very foolish. You dropped it too soon. My trap for the Zone Riders is not ready yet. If the Zone Riders liberate the relay station, I won't have the power for my EMP device. Reaper! Yes, Overlord. Put together a troop of Zoners and defend the relay station. Ugh. What is it, Father? I do not know, my son. Well, well. These may prove useful. Move back! This may be danger to... Warkia! Warn the tribe! Father, don't... Father! Run, my son! Run! Fresh fish, let's go. This isn't even a nice place to visit. How do you know? I've only been here two minutes. Yeah, two minutes too long. scan indicates no weapons activity in the area. Okay, let's check it out. Uh-oh, company. Dispersal maneuver. Hit it! Impressive. They are getting better here on Earth. Don't worry about the ammo. It's probably gonna throw it sticks. Concentrate on Reaper and Duchess Dyer. Ah. 
like it's gonna be a long walk home. But there is a bright side. We've won this skirmish. Ow! Attack! I thought the commander said these natives would be no problem. Talk to him about it, please. Don't lie to us. Withdraw! We must have a good reason. Wait. Don't pursue. Regroup at the power station. Don't be a fool, Reaper. These are Overlord's orders, Duchess. Not even you can go against them. Ah, they are not pursuing, Commander. They have regrouped near the power station. I don't understand. We could have beaten them. Something is wrong here, Tank. That whole attack was a setup. He is right, Tank. Why didn't the Zoners just destroy the station? You're right. What reason could they have for defending it? That's something we'll have to figure out. <sighs> Why are you following us? I am Urkia. My father, Tubabura, is the leader of our tribe. But he has been turned into a dreamwalker by those you fought. Where is your tribe? I am Watpipa, brother to the chief and medicine man of the tribe. Have you come to help us drive away the evil ones? That's our job, yes. Hmm. Follow me, then. The EMP bomb is ready. Deliver it to the power station. It will be a pleasure, Overlord. So, just what does this thing do, anyway? It creates an electromagnetic pulse that melts unshielded circuitry. Yeah, so? You will see. I don't understand how you can live in this desert. There is no civilization here. Our people live in this land for thousands of years. Food is all around if you know where to look. I sense a kinship between us, Dirk Courage. Some of my ancestors were American Indians. They lived much the same way your people do. They believed that the Great Spirit lived in all things, no matter how great or how small. Ah, it is true. The gods who shaped the world during the dreaming exist in us now. Hmm. Which one lives in Overlord, I wonder? Or in me? Commander, they are gone! My sensors say the power station is empty. God, I'd give my retirement pay to know what they're up to. We'd better check it out. Try the satellite uplink. Call MCC Pronto. Everything is kaput, Commander. That flash must have been an electromagnetic pulse. It shorted out all our electronics, including our weapons. While they stayed out of its range. will be back. And now we return with more Spiral Zone action. Our problems are multiplying. Out of the zone. On the double.
Our packs and weapons are useless. We have no radio, no vehicles, nothing works. Well, by now, MCC is bound to be looking for us. We haven't lost yet. Yeah? What are we going to use against the zoners? Harsh language? Well, Pipa has some ideas that may help us. Oh, this won't even be a challenge. You are saying, hero? It's a boomerang. When it returns, I will try again. No. The war boomerang does not come back when thrown. Tank! Marquia says there's an abandoned radio station not far from here. Maybe it'll have a working transmitter or something. Yeah, it's worth a try. Ah, I was hoping for better. Nineteen thirty-two. This was old before my mother was born. But can you do anything with it? I will try, Commander. Keep searching. The Zone Riders couldn't have gone far. Far enough. My senses aren't registering any radio or electronic activity anywhere. Switch to heat scopes and infrared scanners. Yes, maybe you better nail your head on, too. Good. You learn quickly. You are concerned that your enemies will defeat you. Yes. My team is all that stands between them and the world. Ah, eventually all that is returns to the dreaming. The world has been destroyed before and will be again. Not if I can. How's it going, Tank? Uh, slowly. I've never seen half of these components. Most of the ones I do know are useless. Uh, try it. Himmel! Ah! How did they ever get anything done with equipment like this? Well, stick with it, Tank. It's all we can do. come in quite handy. Let's go. Where are they? Father! Well, what have we here? Come out, Father! The one that got away. What the? This isn't the way to help him, Wakia. There's been no word or telemetry from the Zone Riders for far too long. We need some kind of signal for the supply plane to home in on. And it better come soon. That supply plane can't stay up there forever. We may have lost them. We don't hear something soon. How's it going? Ach, du lieber, terrible. The rectifier tube is burned out and all of this, this junk is no help. Wait! That's the one I need! Hey, the old Jones luck strikes again. Ah! <clears throat> These things are fragile, Tom Cuff. Well, you better be real careful with it then.
so far. Everything we need is here. Hustle it up. Company's coming. Empty. They have already been here. Relax, bandit. It's still in time to party. taught us how to fight and win when victory seemed impossible. Remember, what was, is, and shall be again is all the same. It is in the dream. Maybe so. But for now, we'll stand against Overlord. We'll be right back with more Spiral Zone action. And now we return with more Spiral Zone adventure. Earth's most powerful soldiers fight the Spiral Zone. Our world calls for courage, peace and freedom. We must own. Game Talk Snake's Revenge, the next generation from Tiger Electronics. Charms Blow Pop, take one. Action. Fruit flavored candy on the outside. Say it. Bubblegum on the inside. Fabulous. That's a Blow Pop. That's a Blow Pop. Fruit Charms. Now flavors. Cherry. Great. Strawberry. <laughs> Sour apple. Watermelon. And then, from the field of the future, a new king will come to save the world of the past.
like Connecticut. It even smells like Connecticut. Man, I wish it was Connecticut. Hey, Breeze, I got some bad news for you. It ain't Connecticut. Hey, maybe it's all just a bad dream. <laughs> no way, Brick. There's not room in your dreams for anyone else but you. Uh-huh. You given any thought to how we're gonna get into this castle, Morgana, once we get there? Lance, this whole thing is so weird that I don't know what to expect next. But I do know an amazing girl's life depends on us. And crazy as it sounds, the entire future of the world might depend on our victory today. So we better free the beautiful Guinevere, right? After all, <laughs> isn't this what knights are made for? I tell you, Viper, it was King Arthur and his knights! Impossible. Morgana has imprisoned them in the Cave of Glass. They ride in our direction. Only by riding through the River of Fire will we be able to get here before them. Arthur is free. If he is, then I will destroy him. Take her to Castle Morgana. Look, another red tree. A curious phenomenon. Maybe there's an alteration in the chemical makeup of the chlorophyll that manifests in a rapid coloration metamorphosis. Huh? Something in the leaves could be making them change colors fast. Right. I knew that. Let's keep riding. So far, the trees have been telling us we're going in the right direction. Whoa! These guys don't know when to quit! It's now time for Arthur King to go forward as King Arthur once and for all. Excalibur, be my strength! Unless you've got the touch. Search for their friends. Morgana awaits us at her castle. I want answers now. Who are you imposters? We're the Knights of Justice and... Silence! Arthur and his knights are in the Cave of Glass. No one tries to make a fool of Morgana. Let them join Guinevere. A few years in the dungeon, and you may decide to answer my questions. What have I done? It wasn't your fault. Yes, it was, Phil. Everything's been my fault. 
getting us all here in the first place, talking you all into going after Guinevere? I should have warned Lance and Trunk sooner. They should still be here right now. I chose you athletes because you know how to overcome problems with your courage and strength. You would not walk off the playing field because of one bad moment, would you? Let your shield guide you. But always remember, Arthur, trust in yourself. You are the king. And the king will take back what is his, his friends. I'm going after Lance and Trunk. The rest of you wait here. No way, Arthur. You don't go anywhere without defenders. Thanks, Brick. But I've got to do it myself. Don't forget the power of your shield. Dragon of Justice, take me to Castle Morgana! Well, at least we made a safe landing. Back to the shield, big guy. Merlin, are Lance and Trunk far from here? Not too far. Just follow the glow of Excalibur. Now, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> I'll tell you why. In my time, this only happens on TV. On what? TV. Oh, that's right. You don't have TV yet. Never mind. Which way did you say? This way. The secret entrance to Castle Morgana is here. Hmm. This boulder must weigh 20 tons. Any suggestion on how I'm supposed to move it? Excalibur, Arthur. Excalibur is your strength. But what can a sword do against rocks? Excalibur is not just a sword. Excalibur is the sword of good, Arthur. The sword of justice. Excalibur can cut rock like a knife cuts paper. I think I'm dreaming. You're not. Come on, my boy, let's move. The most beautiful girl in the world is waiting for you. Dream or not, Guinevere, here I come. Dark and dirty, just what I'd expect from Morgana. These bats aren't very gracious hosts. Nice place, but I don't think I'd want to live here. Rats and bats. Ugh. I'll bet they're Morgana's best friends. Excalibur, is Guinevere close by? Ah! Uh, Blindsided. Excalibur, let's find Guinevere. Huh? 
Safety. Follow me. Fools! How could you let the prisoners escape? Arthur sword is magical, Lord Viper. It's Excalibur is only steel, and mortal humans are made of flesh and blood. You are made out of stone, Warlord Blackwing. Stone breaks steel every time. Stone can crush flesh. But his sword really is magical. It's harder than stone. Excalibur has strength, this is true, but you are my warlords. Tell me what can a sword do against the power of my magic? We are all your devoted servants, Majesty. Good. Take a force of warlords and search the lower part of the castle. I'll go to the upper reaches to block their escape. No, Viper, that is not where they will try to escape. Merlin counsels these men, and the old magician knows of the secret entrance to my castle. Calm, my viewing rock. Show me where my enemies are. Find them. Find them for me. There! They make for the exit! Quickly, to the castle depths! Oh, man. This place stinks worse than Phil's sneakers. It is the stench of evil you smell, Sir Trunk. Accomplished enough today? Back to Camelot. It is so good to have our king back. Well, uh, thanks. Forget the cave. We must ride to the ravine that leads down to it. If we hurry, we can still catch them. The question is, how do we get out of here? Better be tough. Hey, you're all right. Climb on, my buddy will get us out of here. 
Because you will never leave this place alive. Trunk, Lance, we've got to protect Guinevere. Tighten it up. You told us to wait by the clearing, but when we saw that dude flying around, I thought you could use some help. Thank you, Sir Darren. I'm glad you did. All right, victorious Knights of Justice, back to Camelot we ride. <laughs> since their return? No more strangely than my husband Arthur acts. He speaks and acts in ways that are not those of the Arthur I know. And yet my eyes see my Arthur, and my heart knows how generous his heart is. Perhaps it's because of the war. I would change too if I had to fight against the warlords of evil. Merlin's coming. You have won the first victory. Still, it will be a long battle before you can free the kingdom and recover the keys of truth that will return you to your own time. But tonight is a night for celebration. I believe your terminology is party on. I brought some friends who would love to meet you. I believe you call them cheerleaders. Now, what was that cheer you were doing before we interrupted you? Yeah, it goes like this. Knights, 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 knights,
proudly presents the richest, most significant animated adventure ever created on CD, King's Quest VII. Roberta Williams and a cast of the world's most talented multimedia musicians, artists, and animators spin an enchanting interactive experience guaranteed to touch your entire family. In King's Quest VII, you'll enjoy graphics and sound of a caliber you've never seen or heard before on CD. So experience the magic with the most elaborate adventure game of all time, King's Quest VII. Dreaded Beast versus the Savage Hunter. Aliens versus Predator with awesome new Predators. Clan Leader attacks with whipping dreadlocks. And Stalker, glowing in the dark, fires his spear. Suddenly, flipping up his attack spikes, the wild boar alien charges. And the ferocious mother alien in her monstrous hive traps Spike Tail, then covers him in ooze. Ooze him! Who will survive? Aliens versus Predator. Queen Hive playset comes with mother alien figure and ooze. Other figures sold separately. Seven centuries have passed since the Earth plunged into darkness. Seven centuries since the Jetiter swore to regain for man his lost knowledge and freedom. All the immortals took the oath, all except one who dominates the world. But soon an immortal will come to confront him. His name is Quentin MacLeod. He is the Highlander. Servants, the administrators of Morganda have carried out your uh, orders to oh. the letter. In my opinion, get on with it. Give me the results. Uh, yes, Lord Cortan. I. Uh, we will hmm. soon be in a position to recapture the fugitives, and. Uh, um, when? Well, I. Uh, we can't exactly. Uh, for the moment, we anticipate. Uh, then continue searching. the quest of Quentin McLeod, he who might have become the Highlander. But Ramirez, honestly, I tried. You call that trying? You don't want to learn. I've been telling you for days that it's pointless to try and see in the dark. 
Instead, you have to feel. Feel every breath. Smell every different odor. Hear the change in the silence. Give me that. Hey! You don't deserve to wield the sword of the MacLeods. You ought to see yourself. Really? How long are you going to keep this off? As if the heat wave wasn't bad enough. Why doesn't it rain? Okay, I give up. Come on, Gaul. At least if you don't speak, that's normal. I'm going for a swim, in case anyone's interested. <laughs> Come on, Gaul. <laughs> What's the matter, Quentin? I didn't ask to be a Highlander. He doesn't believe in me anymore. It's not my fault if I can't do what he wants. Honest, Clyde, I tried my best. I did. I know. He'll only be happy when I've destroyed Cortan. Or when Cortan's destroyed me. Don't say that, Quentin. Is that what will make you happy, Ramirez? For your sake, I hope you haven't disturbed me. Nothing. <laughs> oh no, Lord Cortan. On the contrary. We found them, O oh great lord. With information from the network of spies I personally set up, I was able to arrive at a hypothesis which... Stop wasting my time. Where is the Highlander? There, my lord. Near the dry sea. Now, I suggest... Eric, these are your orders. Surround the valley but leave them one escape route right here. They'll have no choice but to take refuge in the Iron City, where I'll be waiting for the Highlander. This time, he will be able to avoid me. Well, here's an order that even you can carry out, Arak. There's no battle to win. You'll pay for that enough in Maganda. I decide who takes revenge and when. <clears throat> Do you understand? Stop calling me boy, Ramirez. My name is Quentin McLeod. The last McLeod that I met was of a higher caliber. He understood the duties of a Highlander. It was seven centuries ago. Just after the great catastrophe, when all the immortals gathered on the Hill of Oaths. Like the rest of us, Connor MacLeod had sworn to lay down his sword and give up the quest to be the last. In taking this vow, we all became jettators. All, except one. I refuse to take this ridiculous pledge. I declare myself the last immortal. I would rather break my vow than leave mankind in your hands. And in betraying his word, Connor knew he sacrificed himself. I'm McLeod. I really will be the last. You may have beaten me, but be warned, Cortan. It may take ten years, or it may take ten centuries, but another immortal will come among us, an immortal not bound by our oath. He will carry the McLeod sword, and he will be a McLeod, the Highlander. And on that day, Cortan, you will know your end has come. No! Got them. 
<laughs> Tell the men to take up positions on the crests and to make sure that they can be seen. Hmm. Seen? But, Master, I... Mer! Just do what you're told! Quiet! What's that? Oh. Hunters! They're surrounding the valley. Come on. We've got to get through before they reach the junction. Why not that way? Because that leads to Magonda, Dimwit. At least that way we can get it over and done with. Do what he says, Quentin, please. Let them get to the dry sea! Ramirez, they're coming! On this terrain, they'll be faster than us. We've got to slow them down. Ride for the Iron City as fast as you can. I'll take care of them. How? <laughs> I'll think of something. But if I don't come back, at least you'll be rid of me. McLeod. Ah! Ramirez! Come on, Cortan. I've been looking forward to our meeting. Wipe that smile off your face! <laughs> I'm not afraid of you, Cortan! to the silence each breath every odor each sound again cortan come on do it again you wanted me well i'm here cortan cortan is here I'll find you somehow!
away from me, Cortan. You won't get away from me again. No, don't go. Please don't. I want him. I can beat him now. No, you're not ready. I want to finish with this whole thing right now. I'd like to be finished with it too. It was the only way, Clyde. Come on, let's go before Cortan finds us. Don't worry, Clyde. As soon as this storm has passed, everything will be back to normal. I hope so. Cortan, I, uh, we have learned that a lone rider has entered the vicinity of Morgonda, and, and I, I thought, thought well, well, perhaps... I knew the Highlander would come. Huh? He's gone mad. Completely mad. Nothing will stop him until he kills someone. But it won't be me. Malone! I, I, I'm here, Lord Cortan. Brother, he's gone to Magonda. Thank goodness, he's turned away from Magonda. He's learning too fast. Even blinded, he's found another path. Hey, was that Lord Cortan? Eternal power to Cortan! Lord Cortan! Lord Cortan! Mortals should. You get up without a fight. Look out! Ah, but oh, Malone. Ah. Make your choice, Cortan. 
a defeat for all three of us. The shame before your own men of having sent him alone to fight in place for an agreement that we hold this meeting at a later time. Not, but I must say you do learn fast for a child. I am finally the storm is over. <laughs> I think. Yes, it has passed. Right. <laughs> 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 Vandalizer storms the Ice Age, but Viking Spawn's thrashing Thunderclub knocks him out cold. Battleclad Spawn wages war with the heavily armed Overkill, chopping down with his double-edged hammer blade to bury the beast. And when the frightening freak makes the night look bleak, Alien Spawn's Gamma Launcher bolts this nut to the ground. Spawn figures each sold separately. It's Mr. Potato Head and his bucket of parts. Black Smart Faces make a Black Smart Fight. Mr. Potato Head and his bucket of parts. Bucket of Parts, new from Play School. Flight is night. Watch the skies for dragonflies. Dragonflies maximize when Dreadwing's forces are on the rise. Dragonflies maximize. Here comes the cry to mobilize. Dragonflies maximize. Man and dragon live as one, fighting Dreadwing till the battle's won. This is a D3 alert. Dragonflies, hit the skies. Grim 
wings at 12 o'clock. Cut and die. Watch out! Dragonflies, let's burn some wing and get out of here! The wing and the prayer The fight to survive is in the air Before the earth grows dark and dies The only hope is in the skies Watch the skies for dragonflies! Round and round where they stop, they'll meet their foe. Keep her dancing with the plasma until her dragon is too tired to fly. Then I'll snare her without a fight. Apex calling Dragonflies 1. Can you hear me, Zenith? <gasps> I'm in way over my head here. Acknowledge. Roger that, Apex, but we're totally engaged here. <laughs> What's your position? Can't tell. Nocturna is driving me away from you. Blaze is gonna burn out any minute. <laughs> Hang on, Apex! I'll try to break free and get to you! Not let him escape! Wind pit. We could lose them in the tunnels and burn Wing out of here. Blaze Wind, what do you think? Can you handle it? I promise you can have a rest just as soon as we're clear of Nocturna. Draymond, Defense Unit 2. The female dragonfly is heading towards the wind pits. You know what to do. Almost there, Blaze! Hang on! <laughs> Wind, are you all right? <laughs> Your tedious game of fly and seek is oh. over, little girl. <laughs> Thank you.
Listen. What's the matter with them? Don't know. Something frightens them. What is it, Blaze? They're coming. What do you mean they're coming? Who's coming? Let's hightail it, Flies. Whatever that is, it's heading straight for Apex. Get on your back. Why? I don't understand. I get it, Blaze. We'll lose Nocturna in the herd. I'm with you. What? The Dragonfly. She's escaping. After her, you fools. Catch her before it's too late. Skywatch, do you read me? What I wanted was for you to capture Apex. I had a perfect plan. Divide and conquer. Separate her from the others and hunt her down until she collapsed from exhaustion. The only thing exhausting, Nocturna, are your pathetic excuses and your never less than spectacular failures. She's not a mutant. She's not even a man. She's a girl, weak and helpless. Be careful where you tread, tread. This girl is neither weak nor helpless. Why do you want her so badly? Because she can communicate with dragons. That's why. And if she can speak to them, she can also control them. And he who controls the dragons controls the ground and the air! You will live to regret calling me weak, Dread. One day, it will be you who will bow to me. I suggest you get out of here and get that dragonfly! Communicate with him. Huh? Do not worry. I come in peace. My name is Apex, and my dragon partner is Blaze Wind, your son. 
He can change ordinary stone into amber crystals. Crystal is the most precious thing for us humans. Without them, our city, our home, could not stay aloft. Take it? As a token? Oh, this is far more than a token. Thank you. Is there anything I can do for you? For your herd? Food. You need food. Perhaps then we can work together. My people will provide you with food from our city. In return, you provide us with the amber crystals your son creates. Apex! You all right? 100%. Everything secure here? More than that, Zenith. What if I told you these wild dragons may be worth their weight in amber? What are you talking about, sis? I think hanging out with these dragons has fried her brain. The infant must be some sort of genetic mutation. The father's scaling has a strange amber hue. Never seen anything like it before. But that's not important right now. What is important is that the dragon pup can generate amber seemingly at any time and any quantity. And for this gift, this miracle, all we have to do is provide them with food. Yes. Can we provide enough food to feed the entire herd? We can always mm. grow more food. We can't grow more amber. The question is, can the dragons be trusted? Trust? I'd trust a dragon with my life and the lives of everyone in Air Landis. We're going to have to find a secure place for them. I suggest we keep a full squadron of Dragonators on full guard at all times around the Wild Dragon. Very well, but I want you four in charge of the transportation of the Amber back to Air Landis. Deploy a Night Squadron ASAP. I want those Wild Dragons secured and protected by Daybreak. Now, why would the Dragonators risk leaving Erlandis at night? That could be dangerous. You'll never know what you could run into in the dark. This is DF Team 6 reporting in. Everything's clear. Roger that. Now find yourselves a good defensive position in case we have to hold the line against Dreadwing. <laughs> Amod, Dram, you two map out some quick escape routes. Take position in the caves below and stay out of sight. Incredible. Let's burn wing and get this first load back to Erlandis. I'm not sure it's such a good idea to make Orak this happy. He might stop being grumpy all the time. Well, he's going to have to change his attitude, because he has no more worries about altitude. We're hunkered down good and tight. Dreadwing will never find us here. Maybe not Dreadwing, but I certainly will. For once, it feels so good to be standing on firm ground. And if you don't tell me what's going on this instant, I'll bury you in that firm ground. Ah! The empty 
Someday you will learn, Dragonflies. No one can stop me. Not you, not anyone. The dragon is mine. The earth is mine. The sky is mine! Use your power! Free yourself! It's true. The dragon pot can transform stone into amber. No! Stop them! Why, Dread? It looks to me you've been beaten by a girl. And a baby. <laughs> oh, shut up! Just shut up! Keep firing! Drive them back! Dram to Erlandis. Dreadwing's attacking the valley. Request backup support. Acknowledged, Dram. I'm sending you every remaining Dragonator, but it will take some time. Hang tough, Tram. Do what you can, my friend. Apex! She's got the pup! <laughs> the little miracle dragon and the dragonfly I've been trying so hard to capture. With your brain and his flame, I'll be unstoppable. I'll never rest until this dragon is free, Dread. I don't want you to rest, Apex. On the contrary, I want that mind of yours working overtime. Together, you and I will control all dragondom. <laughs> Hey, Nocturna! Special delivery! Survive if you just give us a second chance. Please don't go. Apex, huh? Apex, are you all right? 
Goodbye, little prince. Perhaps when you grow up and you are king, we'll have that chance. In the future, all of us shall know men once walked upon the earth below. changed our expressions, we're bendable, and our legs have gotten longer. So Hollywood has changed you. Nah, we still like to kick foot. So what's next for you guys? More movies? How about lunch? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Well, that's it from Hollywood. From Universal Studios Florida, it's WMAC Masters. Now entering the World Martial Arts Council Arena. Richard Brandon, Keith Sumo, Yin Yang Man, Martial Arts Discipline, Ushu. Now entering the World Martial Arts Council Arena, Ian Nguyen. Key symbol, tsunami, martial arts discipline, kung fu. the day. He and Nguyen, Tsunami, takes on Richard Brandon, Yin Yang Man at the Ghost Town Battle Zone, today on WMAC Masters. They're the world's greatest martial artists, competing for the ultimate prize. Olympus, the machine, superstar, red dragon, great wolf, tiger claw, panther, Tsunami, Star Wars, Turbo. Their quest, reach full dragon belt, then go for the dragon star itself. The World Martial Arts Council presents WMAC Masters. Hello everyone and welcome to WMAC Masters. I'm Shannon Lee. After all the excitement of last week's male and female Dragon Star Championships, it's great to get back to ordinary competition, if you can call anything these incredible athletes do ordinary. 
There will be two preliminary matches today, and of course, the finals in the Battle Dome. Let's start off by heading directly outside the WMAC Arena for our first contest between Tsunami and Yin Yang Man. Last time we saw Richard Brandon, he was knocked into the water by Kid Carmichael in the kid's very first match. Yin Yang Man, Dragon Belt status, 5 Belt 2. The crowd is watching the match take place live right outside the arena at the Ghost Town Battle Zone. Tsunami, Dragon Belt status, 3. Ninja, Yin Yang. Here we go, everybody. The council is scoring the match from inside the arena. Watch the power bars to see who's in the lead. Yin Yang Man's on the left, Tsunami's on the right. kick puts him way in the lead. Whoever's power bar is drained first loses. Yin Yang Man better start a comeback now. against the rules. Winner, Tsunami. Subject to Council Review. Yin Yang Man's power bar drained just as Tsunami hit him with the wheel, a clear violation. But what's unclear is whether the Council will let Tsunami's victory stand or disqualify him from today's competition. Asha! 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 You must be kidding. Tsunami cheated. There's no way he's fighting in the dome. And the council's going to disqualify. And Yin Yang's power bar was already drained. Fight was over. Benito. No way. It's not over until the last hit, and the last hit was bogus. Yeah? Well, bogus or not, Tsunami was winning by a country mile. Then why'd he do it? Now, that's the real question. No, the real question is, why didn't see it coming? crowd here at the WMAC Arena is still shocked by Tsunami's inappropriate and possibly illegal action at the end of his match with Yin Yang Man. Word from the officials is that Richard Brandon is okay, and if the council takes no action against he and Nguyen, he'll head for the Battle Dome to face the winner of our next match, a match that's about to begin. Now entering the World Martial Arts Council Arena, Willie Johnson. Key symbol, the BAM! Martial Arts Discipline, Wushu. Larry Lamb, key symbol, Warlock, 
martial arts discipline, Kung Fu. match of the day takes place at Doom City. It's Warlock versus the Fan. The winner will take on Tsunami. It looks like the council will allow his victory to stand. What do you think you were doing? They haven't issued Nothing. It wasn't personal. It's plain stupid, huh? You don't deserve the win. I just got caught up in the heat of the moment, all right, man? Hey, hey, it's cool. It's cool. You apologize to you? Yeah. You are right? I'll live. You blindsided you, right? Yeah, something like that. Like our first match, this will be a showdown between Wushu and Kung Fu, Larry Lamb's discipline. Warlock, Dragon Belt, Cetus, 4. The Bam, Dragon Belt, Cetus, 5. Doom City Ninjas, begin. The rules are the same as our first match. The ninjas, all trainees from the WMAC Academy, will test the athletes' abilities. The council is scoring the competitors for overall technique, clean hits, and defensive ability. Get hit or be sloppy, and the power bar goes down. having a tough time with the ninjas. Warlock's power bar is already way down. Winner, the Bam. The ninjas put up a great fight, but the Bam holds on for a win over Warlock. Billy Johnson has a definite advantage going into the Battle Dome against Tsunami. Most of the crowd will be rooting for the BAM. It seems Tsunami doesn't have many fans in the arena today due to his cheap shot against Richard Brandon. We'll be back with the finals right after this. You know, I never really realized how much Richard favored that left side. I think it's all because he can't set up his right eye. You know what? That would definitely explain why I didn't see um, Tsunami's cheap shot now, wouldn't it? Yes, it certainly would. I'm half blind, not deaf, guys. In fact, since my accident, my hearing's twice as good. Accident? What accident? You see, I've been practicing martial arts ever since I was a kid. By the time I was seven, I was competing in tournaments all over the country. Some kids wanted to grow up to be doctors, or baseball players, or astronauts. I just wanted to be a martial artist. I enjoyed the martial arts more than anything. I practiced all the time. And I won just about every competition I entered. My parents were very proud of me. I felt like I was on the road to success. Little did I know, my dreams were about to come crashing down.
The other driver ran a red light. He was drunk. And my dad didn't make me wear a seatbelt. Two wrongs didn't make a right. I lost the sight in one of my eyes. But even worse, I lost my confidence. I asked the doctor if I would still be able to practice martial arts. He said yes, but things might be harder. I was scared, too scared to ever try the martial arts again. Other kids made fun of me and my eye patch. I learned a new word. People said I was handicapped. It made me feel different. I didn't feel a part of things, especially now that the martial arts were out of my life. I decided that if I couldn't be a martial artist, I'd be another kind of artist. I drew pictures. I was good at it. And as I got older, I sold some artwork to help pay my way through college. One day, I went to watch some martial art exhibitions at a big tournament in town. Nice drawing. Thanks. You a martial artist? Uh, I used to be, but not now because of this. Don't think of it as a handicap. Think of it as a challenge you can overcome. Yeah, sounds good, but easier said than done. Randy, Randy Vaughn, Vaughn, report to center, center stage. stage. Randy, Randy Vaughn. Vaughn. What I saw in the next few moments changed my entire life. Amazing. A great martial artist who didn't let his physical challenge stop him from pursuing his dream. I decided then and there to return to the martial arts and make up for all the time I lost feeling sorry for myself. It felt good to return to my practicing, but even better knowing that I wasn't going to let my eye problem hold me back anymore. Now I knew. I didn't have a handicap. It was just a challenge. A challenge that I could overcome. It took me a while, but I became better than ever. And now I do special programs with the physically and the mentally challenged people to inspire them the way the guy in the wheelchair inspired me. Oh man, we had no idea. Now all this time you compete against all of us with that handicap. Handicap, no. Challenge. That's right. Attention, Richard Brandon. Report to the council chambers immediately. Richard Brandon. Report to the council chambers immediately. Johnson's raring to go in the battle dome, but so far, Tsunami's a no-show. If he doesn't make it out into the arena before the dome hits the ground, the BAM will automatically win. Time's running out for Tsunami. Tsunami. Winner, match one. Yin Yang Man. The council decides at the last minute to penalize Tsunami for his illegal hit against Richard Brandon. With Tsunami disqualified, Yin Yang Man advances to the Battle Dome Finals. All right, chalk one up for justice. Not bad. Man, Richard is so pumped. I would not want to be Willy right now. Yeah, Bam's Ying is about to be Yang. So how about it, man? You cool with the council's decision? You were right. I lost control. I learned my lesson. Yeah? And what's that? Don't break the rules. But if I ever decide to, not saying that this will ever happen again, but if I decide to hit Richard, not saying that I would, I would aim for his good eye instead. Oh, hey, 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 guys, I'm doing kick, man. Hey, 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 hey,
Battle Dome Finals Willie Johnson, The Bam, Richard Brandon, Yin Yang Man. The object of the Battle Dome is to force your opponent into the frame of the cage more times than you hit it yourself. At the end of two minutes, whoever has the highest score wins. Ninja, penetrate the dome. The ninjas have been ordered in to make things even more difficult. If they force an athlete against the dome, his opponent gets the point. One, zero. If the score remains tied when time runs out, we'll go into sudden death. Ninjas leave the dome. Just minutes ago, he was informed he was fighting in the dome, and now Yin Yang Man adds a key symbol to his dragon belt. It was a tough match. Wushu versus Wushu. The athletes were dead even with just seconds left in the fight, but Richard broke the tie with a powerful sidekick just as time ran out. By order of the World Martial Arts Council, the key symbol of the BAM. Willie Johnson shall now be added to the Dragon Belt of today's winner, Richard Brandon, Yin Yang Man. Here now, the ceremony of the Dragon Belt. A big win for Yin Yang Man. I just found out that Richard Brandon has been wearing a patch like that for most of his life. Yin Yang Man is actually blind in one eye and has been that way since he was a little boy. Well, my father, Bruce Lee, always taught that you should overcome your weaknesses and develop your strengths. I'd like to personally salute Richard Brandon for setting a great example and doing just that. For the World Martial Arts Council, I'm Shannon Lee. See you next time on WMAC Masters. Film at Universal Studios Florida, where you can ride the movies. Shoot! 
険遊園地夏大レンジャーのもとにキバレンジャージャンパーソンが駆けつけた史上最強の正義がコーマ相手にあまりにたまった怒りを炸裂させる何度見ても声が出る何度見ても面白い後楽園遊園地集結せよ無敵パワーの戦士たち君たち後楽園遊園地で僕と握手大レンジャー館開催中1億数千万年前の恐竜時代から今よみがえった5人の戦士たち恐竜戦隊ジュレンジャージュレンジャージュレンジャー伝説の戦士たちよジュレンジャージュレンジャー時をかける希望を取りに鉄棒の大陸に挑んだジューレンジャーだがその前に立ちはだかったのは魔女バンドーラだった大陸に身も凍るような寒さがやってくるドーラミノタウロス一旦引き上げるのじゃ<音声>よし一気に城まで突っ込んで武器を手に入れようぜ<音声>手に入れろと言っているんだそんな殺生なよみがえれ伝説の武器なんて寒さなんだ帰って温かいスープでも飲みたいぜ武器を手に入れるまでこっから出られないのを忘れたか残された時間はあと半日それまでに何としても武器を手に入れなければできるのかなバンドーラがこう邪魔した心配だぜ諦めたら俺たちもこいつらと同じように石になるだけだボーイとメイはヒロシ君に会えただろうかヒロシ君どうしたら元の姿に戻れるのかしらとにかく明日は劇たちと合流をして城を目指そうそれしかないよじゃあヒロシ君はここへ置いてくつもり仕方ないよ5人バラバラじゃバンドーラにやられるばっかりだし時間もないんだごめんね
ヒロシ君武器を手に入れたら必ず戻ってくるから<笑>おかしいな今日は全然奴は攻めてこないじゃないか残された時間じゃ無理だと鷹をくくってるか狙うチャンスを伺ってるかとにかく急ごうよしおおあ,あダメだやっぱりあそこのぐるぐる回ってる目をごまかされてるんだ絶対どっかに出口がああおなんだこりゃ見えない壁だよし突き破るぞよしうわああああああああああああああとにかく急ごう残り時間はあと1時間もないはずだ行くぞほう行くぞ元最後の試練の洞窟までたどり着いたようねさすが十連者だがそこまでそここそ最大の難関運命に逆らわず石になるがいいやっっっあああれれはは伝伝説説ののの武武器器かて違う何やら怪しげな容器を漂わせている最後の試練の時が来たり何時この邪悪なる剣を抜き放て邪悪どういうことだそんなのどうだっていいじゃねえかよ邪悪か何か知らねえけどよ抜けやめろか<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>この剣を握った瞬間心が悪魔の虜になるそんな悪魔に心折れなんてそんな試練があんのかよ俺がやる
アンドーラ最後の試練を乗り越えたよねジオレンジャーお前たちは確かにこの伝説の武器を持つ資格を得ただがこの私が渡さないよ何うまくな体が動かないゴリ時間はあと少し約束の一日が過ぎお前たちはイロシと同じように死になる卑怯だぞバンドーラ時間俺たちは全ての試練を乗り越えお前たちを得る資格を得た違うのかとうとうおかしくなったよ武器に言葉なんか分かるもんかい<笑><笑>俺は信じてるお前たちは悪を滅ぼすためにこの世に現れたはずだ答えてくれならばならば目の前にいるバンドラこそ悪そのものだ何聞け伝説の武器たちよアンドーラと戦うしあると戦うのだ来たれ我がテリーおアンドーラ許さんドーラミノタウロスジ
ずの武器が一つになりたいと叫んでいるハウリンキャノンだあっあっもくないかゲラロー食べるっだがトリケランスするんだぞ。
Power Rangers, this is Zordon. Evil space aliens threaten the Earth. You must fight some of the fiercest foes you've ever faced. Even with your incredible shiny uniforms and your mighty ninjetti skills, this could be your greatest challenge to keep the world from being overrun with ooze. Losers are losers! Mighty Morphin Power Rangers from Bandai. The power is on. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Green Ranger and his Dragon Dagger. With the Dragon Dagger, the Green Ranger can summon the Mighty Dragon Zord. Alert! The Power Rangers and play the call to battle. Beware, the Dragon Dagger makes its own fighting sound. I don't like the name of that tool. Believe me, it's a hit. The Power Ranger Dragon Dagger from Bandai. Too hot to handle. Recruit a team of teenagers with attitudes. Keep going, pal. You're doing great. 988, 989, 990, 991, 992, 993. Come on, Jace. You can do it. Come on, Jace. 1,010. And you break the record. That's it. Nice and steady. By the way, what number are we on? 995. 997. 998. 999. So, what number is he on? 1,012. Once more, please, without the sub. 1,003. Yes, Jason, you're going to do it. All Come on, 1,004. Kid, you're almost there, 1,005. I am so nervous. He's gonna break the record. And Angel Grove High is gonna have a new winner. Ernie, what number am I at? 1,000 then. Uh-oh, I lost count. Can you start again? <clears throat> He's not so tough when he on his own. <sighs> Goldar and a monster down to separate Jason from his friends and then tear him apart. With him out of the way, the rest of the Power Rangers will be at my mercy. It's time to finish them once and for all. One thousand seven, one thousand and eight. Come on, Jason, you can do it, you can do it. One thousand and nine. One more, Jason. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. Come on. Thousand eight. Come on, Jason. Put it up. A thousand eight. Hey, guys. Look at Kimberly. Going to be too easy. Easy? This is an easy one. I have the perfect pair for the job. Yes. Mm -hmm. Me and Squad. Oh, forget it. Yes, yes ma'am. Uh, Goldar, are you ready? <laughs> yes, so oh, evil one. First we separate Jason from the others. Then Rita grows you real tall. And then we crush him. 
<laughs> Finster, have you figured out a monster yet? Uh, uh, not quite. <gasps> you shouldn't have said that. You're going to be in big trouble. Finster, what do you mean? Can't you be losing your touch? No, ma'am. If you give me a moment, I'll think of something. Ah, how about King Sphinx? He can use his wings to sweep the others away. Does that satisfy your evilness? Yeah! Uh, all right. So what do you say, Jace? Am I forgiven? Apology? Accepted. Damn it. Fruit shakes on the Zog man. All right. Hey, another round, please. Um, Kimberly, uh, about the, the, you know, the skateboard and, uh, uh you know, <laughs> bubble gum. I just want to Apologize? Yeah. Forget it, it's casual. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, guys, I'm kind of bummed about this bench press record thing. I mean, I don't want to be known as a quitter. A quitter? Shh. A quitter. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Pinhead. I heard you choked today. <laughs> the bench press record's still mine. <laughs> <laughs> a bad dream. Let him go, Bulk. Hey, I got this. Oh, oh, you're tough. You're a man. You're so tough, I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bulk. You take this? <laughs> My foot! <laughs> My pants. I told you I could handle it myself. Ain't nobody said you couldn't. Yeah, that's right. Besides, what's wrong with getting a little help from your friends? Nothing. Unless you're trying to break the bench press record. Yeah. Sarah. Um, new watch. Yeah, um, bye. Put it on my tab. Where, where are you guys going? Sword on. We read you. Power Rangers. Read your repulses at it again. It is imperative that you teleport to the children's theater in the park immediately. What's going on? She has sent down a team of putties and an unknown monster in an attempt to gain control of the park. Be careful. And let the power protect you. It's morphin' time, guys. Fighting! <laughs> 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 
without your friends. Why don't you give up? Huh? <laughs> Too much. Man, I wish the other guys were here. <laughs> you guys! Reedy, really? Chase is in big trouble. Why? What's up? Rita has him. Oh, no. You guys, he may need his friends way more than he knows. Uh -oh. Jason? Jason, can you read me? Jason? Let's teleport to the command center right now. Yeah, let's go. Alpha, adjust the morphing grid and locate Jason on the viewing globe. I think I have a fix on him. Ah, there! <laughs> <laughs> Zordon, this seems hopeless. Indeed it would, Tree. Were it not for your power crystal? Of course! Put your hands together and bring forth the power crystals! The crystals contain the essence of your morphing powers. Use them to find each other in any peril, and with your swords, to draw power from the very heart of the morphing grid. I am sending the crystals directly to Jason. Once in his possession, you will be able to join him and stop King Sphinx and Goldar. Together, they are nearly unbeatable. So call your swords quickly, and let the power protect you. Alpha, tap into the grid and send the crystals through Jason's sword. Hurry, Alpha. He doesn't have much time. Ah, yeah. oh, man, this is not looking good.
shift the battle mode and finish these dudes. Right. Okay. What? Right. Power up the transformation sequence. Megatron sequence has been initiated. Megazord armed and ready! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! You guys ready? Let's nail him! Keep it steady! Watch out for that speed! These dudes are starting to get on my nerves. Watch the flank! Uh-oh! Look up! Man, we're getting nowhere with these guys! It's time to turn up the heat! Mega Power Sword! Now! Cake they had left. Thanks for being there, guys. Hey, muscle brains. I'm gonna get my record back. Yeah, muscle brains. <laughs> no. Shut up. I can do my own talking. Sorry. You guys, get a life. Come on, don't you guys ever give up? Yo, man, why don't you just have a piece of cake and chill? Cake? Yeah, all right, I'll have some cake. But I get the first piece. Yeah, the first piece. I thought I told you to shut up. Oh.
fun, fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Here's fun, fun, fun. Peewee are men. Peewee は一二の三で始めましょうと歌っています。和光証券。ピーウィーハーメン having fun。イヤイヤイヤ。ピーウィーハーメン loves you all。イヤイヤイヤ。Fun fun fun here's fun fun fun。ピーウィーは今度お店で会いましょうと歌っています。和光食品。At one time, gods and demons were as one. They were sealed away in the abyss of distant memory. The hearts of humans who feared the dark brought this about. These beings were the Shinma, a race of demons. The Shinma awakened from their slumber and gathered together. On the final night of that gathering, when the dark, the Shinma, and the humans met, a young girl strayed into their midst. She became forever known as Vampire Princess Miyu. How about tomorrow? Sure. Okay then. The Shiju Station ticket counter at one o'clock. Don't be late. Me late? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but don't worry. I'll be there tomorrow. I promise. Yeah, right. Huh? Roko, are you sure you don't want me to walk you home? No, it's really close by. Take care then. Okay. See you tomorrow. I'll be back in one moment, ma'am. Please take your time in looking around. Thank you. My God. Another young woman killed. This is the fifth one, right, sir? Not a drop of blood left in her body. How can such a thing happen? Just like a vampire. Say, do you think that could be what's causing these murders? Cut that out. Forensics is looking into the cause of death. And Lieutenant, keep that vampire stuff to yourself. Of vampiric attacks had set the old capital of Kyoto abuzz with rumor. I was visiting there on a consultation. The request came from the parents of a princess who had pricked her finger and fallen into a coma. There's no one word that describes what it is that I do. 
but spiritualist is probably the closest. But even those with truly strong spiritual powers have a hard time making a living using them. Huh? <laughs> Garlic. You said she's been asleep for 60 days now. Have you taken her to a doctor? All of the doctors gave her up in the first week as hopeless. We also had an eminent high priest take a look at her. But to no avail. He said something had possessed her. I see. Possession. This phenomenon, which can usually be explained as some form of psychosis, is still a source of terror, smoldering in the depths of the Japanese soul. But in fact, one rarely, if ever, comes across a true case of it. <gasps> I do sense a presence within this child. Please allow me to deal with this intruding spirit. There's no time for preparation. Forgive me. I don't expect to be paid for failure. Wait. There are rumors going around town about a vampire. Stop talking such nonsense. I saw it. There was a person standing near the house wrapped in a cloak. And here it is, the middle of summer. Stop it. No. Please tell me more. It looks like I may not have to give up on my fee just yet. My instincts are usually right where money's involved. Uh, what are you doing? I'm waiting here for the vampire. <gasps> so, Miyahito, it was your girlfriend who was taken by the vampire. Yeah, its first victim. Huh? Go. R Rocco. I saw it. That creature. That thing in white. I know I saw it go into that house. Based on that, you think the vampire's in there? It's just gotta be. I know what I saw. That creature is still lurking about in that house. If it stays at large, there will be more victims. I can't let anyone else suffer the way that Ryoko did that night. Mihito, you can't go by yourself. To <gasps> keep that from happening, I've got to kill it! Vampiric killings. And all the victims were female. Hmm. A grade school student? A junior high student? A college student? A businesswoman? and a housewife. 
five in all. Human strength, thanks. Hmm. Just like the vampires of legend, it would seem. <laughs> but perhaps a bit too similar. Hmm. Now, about you. I think you're perhaps a bit out of your league. Was that? It didn't seem like a little girl. If Iko is the vampire, what motive did she have for attacking the five women? For that matter, I wonder if vampires even exist at all. God, it's her! <gasps> How is she able to survive in broad daylight? You're a vampire! That's what you are, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's true. I am a vampire. But I'm not the creature you're making me out to be. I'm not a monster. What about that boy? You've stolen his soul! The boy? But it was his wish. His desire. You're a liar! If a human so desires, I can give him immortality. Time everlasting. But this thing, this creature that the two of us are chasing after is different. It's only a murderer capable of bestowing nothing. Just a bloodthirsty, imitation, vampire. Yes, it is Shinma. Beings that are both god and monster. 
Perhaps from now on you had best tend to your own affairs. Spiritualist Emiko. How dare you! You have no right to talk to me that way! I will stop you! I swear it! How typical of humans. Your eyes are clouded and so you cannot see. Even though the truth is always within you. Mihito? You all right? Let's go to a hospital right now! Why? What do you mean, why? Don't you know what just happened? But I feel terrific. But you were so terribly upset, you were consumed with grief! Well, there isn't any now. What did you just say? There was a terrible car accident, trapping Aiko and her parents inside. A car accident? There was a chance that we could possibly save Aiko if we operated, but not her parents. However, we were out of AB blood, which we needed for the operation. You see, we'd already performed a number of emergency operations that day. Perhaps the parents realized their own deaths were at hand. They volunteered to donate their own blood to save their daughter. I had no choice but to accept. Aiko's parents died while she was still on the operating table. Does Aiko know about her parents' blood? Possibly. I heard that at the orphanage. She called herself a vampire. Surviving by stealing her mother and father's blood. What a terrible trauma for a young child. How can her parents be here when they're supposed to be dead? They must be spirits as well. The victims were a grade school student, a junior high student, a college student, a businesswoman, and a housewife. Those women all represented what Aiko could have been! <gasps> oh, oh. Uh, Aiko? doing Do you want Aiko as well? This is the creature that used Aiko's soul. Used? What do you mean? in return for fulfilling all of her childish fantasies. It drained her life.
Shinra, a fitting name for those which are both god and demon. This particular one invaded her dreams. It's easy for the diseased human soul to invite the Shinma in. Jin Ma? Larva! Inscribe its true name and return it to the dark. Ra N. Ra N. Better known as Baku. The Shinma who dwells in the dreams of humans. It uses human dreams as its source of power. And when its true name is discovered, the monster is trapped? Now we'll seal it away. What about Aiko? She's dead. Once the Shinma takes over, the lives of its victims are taken from them. Couldn't you have helped her? Saved her life? There's only one way that I could have. But you interfered, didn't you? She could have taken my blood and become a vampire. But Himiko, I don't know whether she would have preferred continuing to live. Believing that she was the vampire that killed her parents. As for Miyahito, he wanted to escape from his grief. So I gave him a little world of his own, one of fantasy. So he should be feeling more happiness in this world than he could ever expect to in the next. Can you say the same? <laughs> bye bye! I don't believe in such fantasy worlds. like that for ages. He's famous around He's here. He's weird or something. Uh-huh. I know about him. What? He's living in happiness. What? What about happiness? What do you mean? Wouldn't you like to be able to be happy? Forever? What That's you weird. You're about? crazy. <laughs> Suppose I'd gone too long without believing in the existence of demons. I will hunt down that little devil. That vampire girl who disappeared without even telling me her name. Others may wish for a cure for their pain, but I prefer to live with mine.
At one time, gods and demons were as one. They were sealed away in the abyss of distant memory. The hearts of humans who feared the dark brought this about. These beings were the Shinma, a race of demons. The Shinma awakened from their slumber and gathered together. On the final night of that gathering, when the dark, the Shinma, and the humans met, a young girl strayed into their midst. She became forever known as... Vampire Princess Miyu. Don't you think the Japanese dolls are kind of spooky? What? Spooky? Some people say that their hair really grows. <laughs> oh, come on. So, you, like me, are suspended in time. She's not here. Really? Where could she be? What a pain. Maybe she's in the club room. <laughs> Let's go see. Yeah. So she's missing, huh? Not again. This is creepy. They left her alone for a second and she disappeared. That makes six boys and girls that are missing now, doesn't it? Oh, you guys, I'm scared. Hey, she's watching him again. Yeah, and she just transferred here. <laughs> Don't worry. There's no way Kay's ever gonna fall for her. Hello. Been waiting long? You always make me wait. Are you going to class? Class? Oh, there they go again. Say, who's she? Oh, she's an upperclassman. I see her and Kay together all the time. Hmm. Oh, I'm jealous. I want to become one with you. Make me stay young forever. I'll do anything. Don't rush things, Kay. You don't want me to break our promise, do you? Promise? To make your beauty last for all eternity. Listen. 
Do you swear you can keep me from aging, from withering away into a rotten old bag of bones? Can you really? I told you I have the power to do that. So don't rush me. Believe in me. Can you believe this, Larva? This woman who stole my prey from me? That boy? Plus she's a Shinma as well. I realize my goal is to rid the world of her kind. But I need the taste of human blood also. Okay. Oh, hello, Kao. How are your studies going? Your mother is worried that maybe you need a tutor or someone to take care of you. I could arrange it for you if you like. Kay? Hello? Kay, how do you explain these grades? Why can't you be more like your brother and sister? Well, you've upset Mom again. I'm sorry, I can't be like you. I can't follow in your footsteps. Look, I'm not asking you to do that. I just don't want to see you become a failure. You know we need you at Dad's company. Don't you realize you're throwing away your chances for a career? The company will do just fine without me. Besides, I want to get away from this place. Why don't you just grow up? Where is Mother? Your mother's out again today. What's wrong? Is there something I can do for you? You really should think about your future, Kay. Kay, your future is all set. Why are you fighting it? In other words, you want me to find someone? Uh, no. Actually, how should I put it? A doll. A doll? I told you that my daughter disappeared while at summer school. One moment she was there, and the next she was gone. My wife and I were terribly distraught. I left immediately to search for her, perhaps to find a clue. A girl from the art club said she had seen something strange just after my daughter disappeared. She said there was a doll lying where she should have been. She showed me a sketch she had made of the bizarre contraption. I took it to the police. They wouldn't believe me, nor would anyone else. But somehow, I got the feeling that doll was my daughter. The doll disappeared. What do you think? I know it's not much of a clue. You think your daughter might have been turned into a doll? Hmm. Can you tell me where her school is? Of course. I'm not sure I can help you, but I'll see what I can do. Hmm. A girl changed into a doll. A strange case. But the creatures called Shinma might be behind this incident. And where there's Shinma, there's sure to be that vampire girl I'm searching for.
No longer will you age or grow decrepit. You can live forever looking like you look now. And thus <gasps> will the life energy that you emit become my sustenance. <sighs> I am Miyu. So you're the vampire that's been hunting all of us down. I'm only returning stray Shinma to the dark. Don't worry. I'm not looking to fight you just now, Ronka. I only want to ask you something. <gasps> One question. Why won't you turn Kay into a doll? You trap the others in the confines of dolls and use their energy. Why not him? <laughs> What's so funny? I see. You've had your eye on him, too. You've got the wrong impression. I'm not interested in him. Kay approached me in the first place. He must have discovered somehow that I have powers that others don't. He asked me if there was a way to preserve his beauty. I assured him his beauty would last forever, untainted, untarnished. Perfect. I wonder, though, if he wants to look like these. When next we meet, I will ask you once more! Be ready with an answer to my question! <laughs> Tell me, please, Kay. There's someone else, isn't there? You're seeing another girl. Yes. What kind of person is she? I'm not sure she is a person. Huh? Excuse me. Uh, sorry about that. Thank you. Intriguing sketch. Wow. What a cutie. Excuse me. Is this seat taken? No. I wouldn't go near that woman if I were you. If it's eternal life you want, I'll give it to you. If you desire everlasting youth, I know a way you can attain it. I don't care anything about that stuff. She knows absolutely nothing about eternal beauty. Look, I don't know how you found out about this. But all of that nonsense is just an excuse. You see... I care about her. In fact, I love her. <gasps> I don't care if she's a... witch or a sorceress or whatever she is. It doesn't matter. All I know is that I can't live without her. Loving a Shinma? Excuse me, is that the faculty office over there? Yes, ma'am. Pardon me, but I could use some information. Hello? Hello? <gasps> so, you 
chose not to follow my advice, Himiko. <gasps> Are you after me? Or the Shinma? I'm after you! To keep you from victimizing anyone else! I suppose your next target is that boy! Putting appearances first, as usual? As always, a handsome victim. You're right. He is beautiful, isn't he? So, why just watch him? Mm, because I especially like him. I've got a present for you. <laughs> Water. How sweet of you. Who are you? What are you? Bright sunlight, crosses, holy water? They have no effect on you whatsoever. That's right. I can't be stopped. <coughs> My name is Miyu. As the last vampire, I hunt the Shenma, those beings who are once feared as gods, or sometimes monsters. For me, living and drinking human blood mean one and the same. He is Larva, a Shinma bound to me having received my blood. Have you any more questions, Himiko? You and the Shinma are essentially the same species, right? So, why do you hunt them? <gasps> How dare you say you protect humans? You're a murderer! I don't care about eternal beauty. Take me to a world where you and I can be together forever. As long as we can have a place just for the two of us, I don't care if I grow old. <laughs> Stop it! I can't do this. I know. And it's okay. I love you. Uh, uh, mm. Mm. You see, after I became aware of my vampire heritage, everything changed. I must banish the Shinma. Banish? My people have been doing it for generations. <gasps> I'm sorry, Kate. Mew. Are you after that boy or a new Shinma? What have you come here for? Stay out of my business. No! Hello, me you. First, give the boy to me. Then I will return you to the dark. Shinma Ranka. I have no use for a man like this. Though I wouldn't give him to a greedy, spoiled child like yourself, either. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> Kay? Kay! A good look. The man who loved you will now receive my blood and gain eternal life. Here's your answer. I loved a human being, even though I'm a Shinma. I fell in love with Kei. So I couldn't turn him into a doll, existing without life. Shinma and humans are different. I tried to forget about love, but I was wrong to do so. Love, after all, is the only important thing. You lost, Miyu. I returned the Shinwa Ranka to the dark, where it belongs. I didn't lose. I don't mean like that. I'm talking about the woman within you. Larva.
、場所井佐子が2画面衛星ビデオパラボーラの新発売をお知らせします。2画面でチェック、パラボーラバイ2新発売。パラボーラ。カメラグランプリ受賞、ニコン FA。日本の技術と誇りがこのカメラに記されたザ・グランプリカメラニコン FA あのローレルの飢饉と風格を受け継いだドラマチックエレガンス日産ガゼール先進の4バルブ DOHC を搭載して RS 新登場ガゼルモニマージュよ
you mean? Right on. Your sexuality is no laughing matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're 16 and in high school. Life is too short yeah. to waste the budding flower of your youth. When you find the right boy, why not give him what he wants? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, Mother, I'm not so sure about that. That's right. Never forget the old proverb, Yoko. The flower that blossoms last blossoms the best. The lovely meal. It was delicious. Just a minute, Yoko. Huh? You're forgetting something. Huh? What are those? Hmm? Huh? Huh? <gasps> Aren't these what I think they are? Just a girl's best friend, that's all. <laughs> Made it. 817. <laughs> Any second now. <laughs> There he is. Wow. Oh, what a babe. Mrs. Hideki Kondo. Yoko, you are my one and only. When you find the right boy, why not give him what he wants? Hideki, I love you. Yoko. Yoko. Oh. <laughs> you know, you're never going to get anywhere from all the way over here. <laughs> I know. Let me give you a sneak preview. <laughs> huh? <gasps> oh, look at that butt! Do you mind? Do you mind? She? Just providing a little charity for the socially impaired. Unfortunately, your assets were too much for him. Oh, well. Poor Asamu. You know, it's really not his fault he's so immature. We just develop faster. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I'm missing him! <sighs> Nuts, it's the ding-dong of doom. Uh, not again. Nuts, we're late! What's this? The three of you are late again? <laughs> Ah! Oh boy. Looks like the principal's on an SM trip again. She looks even meaner than usual. Oh yep. boy. This is the third time this week. I don't suppose any of you has a reasonable excuse. Yes, ma'am. We were late because Osamu fainted when he saw my panties, but, but that wasn't his fault because she had her hands under my skirt and... Uh -oh. oh, I said a reasonable excuse, not a confession. We're, we're sorry. sorry. All right. Get to your classes. <laughs> not you. I'll see you in my office after school. Any objections? No, ma'am. Come in. <sighs> Sorry, I'm late. Hmm. Oh. Uh, gotta go. Now, don't be dishonest. Uh, this part doesn't oh. want to leave at all. Oh. I could just eat you all up. Mm. <sighs> uh -oh. It's your turn. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Does Reiko look hot today or what? Hmm. But then, Reiko's always gorgeous, isn't she, Chi? <laughs> hey, why don't we try one of those new diets, Chi? <laughs> you eat too much, huh? <sighs> That's the truth. 
I guess we both lack the self-control that's required for something like that. Mm, true. Mm -hmm. Got it! What? <laughs> I got cheese drumstick. Uh... Stop it! Wait! Stop it! That's mine! Don't you dare! Ah! Hey. Uh, uh... is finally going to blossom. <laughs> Miss Mono, showing a bit more than usual. Huh? Ah! <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. <laughs> you know, that was a lot like the monster in my dream. <laughs> Weird. Yoko? Hmm? Yoko, are you all right? Oh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry. I really wasn't trying to drown you, you know. Oh, don't worry about it, G. It's okay. Just pay the check and we're even. Right. Uh, you're sure you're okay? You don't want me to walk you home? Aw, oh, that's really sweet, T, but I'm fine, really. Well, okay. Next time, though, you can have my drumstick. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Okay. See ya. Bye, Chi. Huh? Yoko. <gasps> <laughs> Yoko. No, it can't be. Asuma? <laughs> oh, I didn't even recognize you. What have you done to yourself? Yoko, I've been going through some changes lately. Yeah, no kidding. You know, we've known each other since we were kids. Uh -huh. You and me and Chi, the three musketeers. Maybe that's why it's taken me so long to notice uh -huh. the burning in my heart. <laughs> No, we both know that's not true. Uh-uh. I've been thinking about you quite a bit. Uh-huh. The fact is, I just never had the guts to tell you how I really felt before. But sometimes a man has to be a man. Oh, boy. Well, I'm a different person now. I'm not kidding. Yoko, I've decided I want you. What's gotten into you, Asamu? I love you. When someone like me really wants something, he finds he can change. I've changed myself just for you, Yoko. <sighs> Look, it's just not right. Why not? Oh, uh, I got it. You mean that you're a... Of course not. Well, I mean, I am 16. And in high school. <laughs> sure you are. Ah! So what's the problem? <laughs> oh, uh, look, don't take this the wrong way. Huh. I mean, <laughs> I know we could go to a hotel or something, but mm -hmm. today's been a little weird, and and uh, I don't know. 
I just don't want to make a big mistake. Of course. I understand. like he was possessed by more than lust. Huh? What? Huh? Huh? That was cutting it a little close. <laughs> Grandma! A devil hunter? Correct. What's that? It's what you are, Yoko. For 107 generations, the women of our family have been sworn to seek out and destroy demons. Huh? How long has our living room been able to do this, Grandma? Until you were ready to join our ranks as a devil hunter. All this had to remain hidden, Yoko. <laughs> uh, man, what is all this stuff? This is the place of the devil hunters. It's a little dusty. Ew, <laughs> no kidding. All those are your forebears. Come this way, Yoko. Okay. The history of man has had many dark bloody passages. Uh -huh. But then, history is simply a record of the never-ending conflict between two opposing forces, with our world and everything in it as the prize. Uh -huh. On the side of darkness are the beings of the Never Plains, what you would call a demon or a devil. Okay. Unspeakably evil. They long to take this world as their own. And to the Mono family, the Devil Hunters has fallen the task of preventing them from ever gaining a foothold in our dimension. Yoko, the time has come to pass the sword to you. <laughs> That's a pretty good story. You're joking, aren't you, Grandma? It's no joke. Huh. Think back to your dreams, Yoko. Uh -huh. Remember what happened at the pool? Mm -hmm. The demons hate your very uh -huh. existence. Have you forgotten how I pulled you out of bed with a demon? Hmm? Ah! There's some serious bad news coming to town, and the demons are behind it. I know it. Look! Huh? The moons of the demon plane in our own will soon be in cross-dimensional alignment. Oh. At that time, the devils will choose a new black queen. When she finds a human host, the doors between the worlds will be torn asunder by a flood of howling demons, and mankind shall cease to exist. You must stop the ritual of resurrection and find the new queen's chosen host and destroy her. Uh, Grandma, you're not really serious about me having to do all this devil hunting stuff, are you? Serious? Huh? As my granddaughter and heir of our line, it is your duty! Now listen up! Before you can become the devil hunter, it's vital that you remain absolutely pure of mind and body. <sighs> Wait a second, Grandma. Even if I accept that all this devil stuff is true, why does it have to be me who has to do it? What about Mother? Let me tell you about that tramp! You've got to be a virgin to become a devil hunter, but she couldn't control her hormones. Instead of becoming the next devil hunter, she got pregnant with you! Okay... In 
15 hours and 10 minutes of this world's time, the moons of Earth and the demon plane will align. A hole will be torn in the fabric of the universes, bringing forth a time of endless night. In that darkness, we can stand on human soil. We will shroud this world in a cloak of darkness. We will bury it in evil, and our Black Queen will hold dominion, dominion over all. But first, there is one last task that lays before us. Our ancient adversaries, the Devil Hunters, must be eliminated once and for all. I can hardly wait. <laughs> I hold no enmity against those coerced into evil, but to those vile beings who toy with the hearts and souls of men. Since the time of ancient gods, we have been your destroyers? Now the 108th Devil Hunter site. Oh, <laughs> I mean, Yoko is here. <laughs> Pretty good stuff, huh, Yoko? Uh, what does it mean? Oh, nothing really, but the demons hate it. Oh, I'm sorry I asked. Okay, Yoko, now listen to what I'm about to say. When the moons are this close, the devils can be very powerful. You've got to be ready for anything. Try and use your brain. <sighs> okay, Grandma, I'll just sit here and try and practice being a devil hunter. <sighs> Where is he? Oh. Come in. Oh, that's funny. I wonder where everyone else is today. And why is it so dark? I've never been this late for class before. Huh? What? Oh. <laughs> Huh? Dear Miss 108th Generation Devil Hunter Yoko, if you are concerned about the health of your friend Miss Chigaka Ogawa, please come to the old clock tower immediately. If you fail to come, there will be hell to pay? Oh! 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 Ew! Oh! This can't be real! The demon plane and our own will soon be in cross-dimensional alignment. At that time, the devils will choose a new black queen. <sighs> when she finds a human host, the doors between the worlds will be torn asunder by a flood of howling demons, and mankind shall cease to exist.
Can she? I'll get you to a hospital as soon as I can. Yoko! She? Oh, oh, what is your damage? So, this is Yoko Mano, the 108th Devil Hunter. Uh, the principal? Tonight our ancient quest at last shall come to an end when the ritual of resurrection revives the new Black Queen. Behold! Huh? This is nuts. Rako's the Black Queen? <laughs> Tonight, my lovely Reiko shall feast, feeding her new appetite with the flesh of your beloved Hideki Kondo, and consummating the ritual of resurrection with his blood. No! Hideki, you gotta wake up! Hideki, don't let them do this to you! Hideki! Remember my drumstick? I'm still mad! Ah! This isn't funny! Cut it out, Chi! Huh, it would appear that the ancient line of devil hunters will end with you, Yoko! against those cursed to do evil, but to those vile beings who toy with the hearts and souls of men. Since the time of ancient gods, we have been your destroyers. Yeah! Beware, demons! The 107th Devil Hunter, Adoka! Is here! Grandma! <laughs> I just love saying that old spiel. How'd you like that entrance, Yoko? <laughs> Poor little moth, flying too close to the flame. This is our adversary, the great devil hunter. I shall crush you like the insects you are. <coughs> In deference to age, I'll squash the older bug first. Grandmother? Beware. Ah, ready when you are. All right, now watch me closely, Yoko. If you concentrate on all that is good within you, you can summon the sword. The sword of your soul. Oh, Grandmother! It's, Grandma! Uh, 
to you. The torch passes now to you. Yoko, only you can do it. Don't... Don't die, Grandma! The time has come to pass this on. Take this ring from my hand. Become the 108th generation of Devil Hunter. What? Take care, Yoko. will become as one. Now, Devil Hunter, will you water the last blossom of mankind's bloody funeral wreath with the sweet nectar of your virgin blood? <laughs> The ritual of resurrection has already begun! <laughs> against those coerced into evil. But to those vile beings who toy with the hearts and souls of men, since the time of ancient gods, we have been your destroyers! <laughs> now the 108th generation devil hunter, Yoko! <laughs> is here! It really works! This is so cool! A virgin lamb is a slaughter. <laughs> but since you're here, tell me how you plan to stop it! Very cute, but I already have a sword. Care for a closer look? Come on! I'll decorate my sword with the color of your blood. <laughs> nice 
pose. Nice dress, too. Devil Hunter is finally ready to take my place! But Grandma, you're not... I mean, uh... <laughs> you got it. The reports of my death were exaggerated. But you... Well, I had to get you to take the ring somehow, you know! How could you? 
Yoko, just chill out and try the chowder. It's really bitchin'. And best of all, now that you've become the devil hunter, you can sleep around as much as you want. Come to think of it, I'd like to have some great-grandchildren. Hey, hey, have at it, kiddo. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey! Hey! かっこいいマネイツ。かっこいいスイセーボールペン。カトロ。かっこいい。おしゃれ。かっこいい格型。パイロットカトロ。皆さん、私の父はボールペンで母はサインペンでした。そしてできた私はボールサイン。いいとこ
Combat boomers appeared at Point K, Route 246, District 3. The 6th AD Police Mobile Force is currently engaging it. HQ, this thing's kicking all kinds of ass. I'm engaging the K-11s. 10-4. You're standing me up. You're due on stage any minute, Pris. I told you, this can't wait. Hurry up, Pris. All right, all right. All right, then. You'll never work here again. You got that. Terrific. Now ask me if I give a damn. I'm really sorry, sir, but this is really an emergency. Shut the bloody door. <sighs> yes, sir. Man, that boomer's got a lot of nerve stomping around your Celia's place. Apparently, it's a combat model. The AD police seem to be having a tough time of it. A combat type? All right, I'll meet you there. Come on! Oh, start! Know it. Just my luck to be on the early shift today. Ooh, hey, you in that car, pipe it down or else. Ooh, you're about to drive me crazy. Hey, officer, let me through. What is it? Oh, Pris. Thanks, officer. You idiot. Why'd you let her through? She's speeding. I'm, I'm sorry. Ah. Oh, today just isn't my day. over the limit. Leon. Hey, babe, the law's the law. Oh, big help you are. Ugh. Man, this boomer's made a real mess. Thanks to him, my license is being suspended. Uh, well, thanks to you, I'm in hot water with the traffic cops. I'm really having bad luck. I'm the one who's having bad luck. My car died and I had to take a cab. We can't let this slide. It's that bastard Mason who's behind all this, I'm sure of it. Let's get off our asses and nail him. No, it's best if we leave this to the A.D. police. Just forget about it, Pris, and give us a hand. Lena, you know, I'm not into that kind of stuff. Oh, give me a break. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pris, come outside for a sec. Got a surprise. Man, this is sweet. <laughs> is it ready to ride? <laughs> it should be okay.
Show. Oh, Pris! Your mom's not back from work yet? Uh-uh. Oh, you must be hungry. Here, why don't you have some of this? Oh, boy. Thanks, Pris. Show? Oh, hi, Mom. Let's go have dinner. Okay, what are we having tonight? Hamburgers. Uh, Mom, Pris already gave me a burger. Let's have pizza instead. All right. Now let's go home. Moreover, the boomer which terrorized the city was a combat model. This type of manufacturing is illegal in Japan. Citizens groups are demanding stricter enforcement of the law. In other news around the globe, the widely expected merger of the Doe Enterprise... Hey, Lena. Hmm? Why the hell won't Celia take a shot at him? Huh? At who? At that son of a bitch Mason, that's who. Huh? No way! That would be against Article 2 of the Night Saber's Code. You know that. Hey, Pris. Get me a soda out of the fridge, okay? What the hell am I? Here. How rude! If you toss them around like that, you can't open them right away. So get it yourself. What's gotten into you? When you're done with that, sweep the apartment, okay? The price I pay. What's with you? When someone feeds you, you naturally owe them a favor. The technologically integrated economic city project, which Gidam has been advancing for some time now, has finally received governmental approval. Gidam will acquire all of District 3 and present it to the world as the leading edge business community. Also, District 12, whose restoration has been delayed, will become a single large Gidam industrial area. In summary, we will move ahead with stage one of the development of these two districts. The inhabitants of District 3 are most upset about the lack of law and order, so it should be only a matter of time before they decide to sell their land. My hopes are riding on you, Mason. Another failure would be distressing. You had best not disappoint me. Yes, sir. I, I completely understand, sir. Show? Thanks! Okay, now blow out all the candles. Hmm. How old is he? Ten years old. Ten years old? Come on, let's eat. Hey, Pris, this is Mama's own pizza, and it really tastes great. Okay, here I go. Mmm, <gasps> yummy! Told you. Mind your manners. We're in the middle of dinner. Oh, this isn't a dinner, it's a party. Right, Show? Yeah, it's a party. It's wonderful to have Pris come over here, isn't it, Show? I'm sorry to have cut you off so rudely. Oh, not at all. When I'm at work, he's all alone. I hate to think of him being that way. You're looking out for him every now and then is such a big help. I guess I'm just a really big hit with kids his age. I lost my husband, my home, everything to the big earthquake seven years ago. After that, we came to live here. But for show's sake, I've done what I can. But it must be hard always working so late. I imagine it's the same for you. Well, in my case, it's more like a hobby. Well, I've just recently been able to start saving some money. Someday, oh, I plan to live out in the country where the air is clean. But for now, it's just a dream. A dream.
Celia Stingray. Sis? Hey, sis, I'm coming in. I'm done with the sales report. Oh, she must be in the data bank room. And here I was, thinking I could catch her in her underwear. Mason, what's going on? Oh, Pris, they threw us all out. We're gonna be evicted. You've got to do something. I'll take care of this. Genome Real Estate purchased this land from the government. You're all trespassers, so you have no right to be here. Mm, you can't be serious. Oh! Wouldn't try that. Shut up! Oh! <laughs> You're killing me. Oh, come on. It's too early in the morning to be having a riot. What the? Hey, 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 that's a little rough, isn't it? Let her go. You uh, live around here? How about I stop by your place later on, huh? Are you out of your mind? I'm being evicted. Now do something about these bastards. I'm afraid what they're doing is completely legal. Shit. You son of a bitch! It's a boomer. That's enough. One of these days, I'll uncover the truth about you. Be careful what you say, little puppy. Even a little puppy can nibble a sleaze bag like you to death. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, don't say that. Someday, oh, I plan to live out in the country where the air is clean. But for now, it's just a dream. Let's go. An eye for an eye. No operating on your own. <gasps> Celia. Personal vengeance is a violation of Article 2. Solo actions are a no-no. Article 3, consent of full membership is required. So what's with the suits? Nana gave us the information as it came into AD police, including word about a boy who'd lost his mother. We're doing this to preserve the Night Sabers organization. 
Not just for you. Celia. a firefight on the Genon building about 840 feet off. Defenders look like BU-12B. Attackers seem to be wearing hard suits. Chopper 4, come in. Chopper 4. That's dust. My unit, move out now. Last, welcome, Nightsabers. I have longed for this moment. This is the end of your ambitions, Mr. Mason. You look as if you've resigned yourself to that. What you see is the look of the victor. We stand here on the heights of Genome, the summit of power, here where I will reign, here where you will die. <laughs> Celia, I knew it. 
Cecilia! ゲームの達人と呼ばれる彼は言うすごい奴が現れた一目がソフトの大容量セガだから四倍手強い北斗のケントそしてダンプ松本興奮無限大大きな違いのわかる子供の一目がゲームソフト隣のゲームはもうつ
we come to the last item in this safe. Lot number 208. Innocent. Artist unknown. This world famous picture was the last acknowledged masterpiece of the Earth's telling I'll start the bidding at 700 million. I have 700 million. 800 million. Yes, I have eight. 900 million? Thank you. Against you, sir. All done then. All done at 900 million. Sold at 900 million. The painting will be retained here for seven days to complete the usual formalities and then released to its new owner. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I know that we had plenty of other good offers, so why turn them all down for this crummy old break-in? The heroin running along the coast would have been fun. Taking out the government's gold reserve sounded good, too. We should have tried to get in touch with Mr. Bing. Now that creepy go-between is dead, he would have hired us for something. There's a time in every android's career when he'll do a job for reasons apart from money. One is to accomplish the greatest aspect of his program, a second is because he owes a debt. Is this gonna be what you call your masterpiece? No, I don't know what that's gonna be yet. Then you're paying the debt back. It's something you owe someone. <laughs> I don't owe nothing to nobody. Then it must be for the money. Oh, what a bore. Oh, hey! Why'd you hit me? What have I said? There's another reason neither of you two would understand, so I won't waste my breath. Quit your complaining and keep paddling. I need time to think. Think he might have a few screws loose? I'm a bit concerned about the boys' mechanics. We're here! Yeah! Mm -hmm. I can feel we're right under the auction house storeroom. If we hit trouble and find that we get separated in the store, meet at the usual place in 24 hours. You got that? Yeah, we heard, but all this trouble to get his hands on a boring bit of art? What's in it for you and me? We're wasting our time. Maybe we'll find something. There could be gold or diamonds. That sounds better. Forgive thy humble servant, my brethren, for keeping you all in limbo. But now it's showtime. Your host this evening, the lovely Leona Ozeki. Everybody, it's Fun Quiz! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want 
want you to meet Mario the Drug Pusher, the first of our players. The thing is, though, he won't speak to me, not a word all day. In that case, he doesn't need his tongue, so I might as well cut it out of him. Right? I say cut it out scientifically! But wait a second, you guys. I got rights too, you know. I read the Constitution. It says that I got a right to stay silent, and that's the rules. Reading too much could blind him. It could make you blind. Ain't that a fact, Spitz? Yeah, I was reading something like that in the Police Gazette. <laughs> so the first question. Who supplied the heroin you were pushing on the street today? No hurry, you've got 20 seconds. You ain't scaring me with your bluff. It ain't gonna work. Hey, what an answer! <laughs> Dearest father, receive his soul. Let me give unto him the instrument of thy infinite power and mercy. Ah! I'll bet on him to hold out for 40 seconds. Don't flatter him, Al. He just doesn't look the 40-second type. I say 20 top. Hey, shut up, you guys, and get your bets on the table. I'm betting on 15, and that's pretty high for him. God bets 25 seconds. Thanks. Rien va plus. I reckon 30 seconds, but I'm a real bad loser, so make sure you keep quiet that long. <laughs> hey, ready? Start her up. <laughs> Fifteen seconds, that's pretty good. I think you've underestimated him. Me? Aye. I've won! Thirty-one so far, I've won! Oh! oh. Oh, I can finally go off Judy! All the paperwork's been finished and cleaned up. Girls, here I come! <laughs> Files! Messed up again. I'll kill him. I'll boil him in tank sump oil. Britain! Look what you did! It wasn't me. It sounded as if a grenade exploded. Remember, I was here helping you get all these damage claims sorted out. Huh? Well, who's fool enough to play with a grenade? I'll, I'll bet, bet it was, was Leon, Leon Ozaki. Ozaki. will be unconscious for the rest of the night. Hey, what the? What's going on, huh? Peters brought us on vacation for a month on the Côte d'Azur. Mornings lying on the beach, then tennis, then glorious nights of violent passion. It's all such an unutterable bore. Where will I find fulfillment? Father lusts after my sister, mother goes mad in the Nordic winter, and me? What do I have to live for except the joy of suicide? Cut it out! We ain't here to get dressed in antique fancy clothes and sit around on our asses. We're here to get innocent, right? So we ain't got any time to waste on amateur theatricals. And anyway, your lines are really terrible. <laughs> you ain't got no soul! Can't a girl let all that inner despair out once in a while? My God, how like a man. Sensitivity isn't their thing. That isn't fair. I can't help how crude guys are, so cut the shit and get looking for innocent, okay? Oh, we found the crummy picture. Huh? He was hung with a lot of other stuff in the next room. Not particularly well hung, I gotta say. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's me. There's no doubt about it. It's me, right down to the mole on my belly. Now do you understand why I had to have it? It's just a man holding his hands up. And fat. But look, Hannah Puma, don't you think this is more my style? Well, I think it's weird they could sell that for 900 million. What do you think they'd pay for a nude of us? I don't know. Not that much. That's why I'm so humiliated and mad. What? Well, look at us. We're beautiful and sexy, but no one would pay that kind of money for us. What's he got that we haven't? Red Commando!
Commando, hmm, watch it. They can play rough, so keep both eyes on him. They don't like guys like us trying to steal the loot that they're guarding. You can't take innocent. We've been employed to guard it. Listen carefully. I'm only going to say this once. Put it back. No, I can't. I need it. It's my existence. We don't give a shit about the other things. They're not in our contract. But put the picture back where you found it. It's time for some action, wouldn't you say? I would indeed. I'd say it's more than time. Hey, I got a surprise, kid. Hi, Commando! Uh He'll be okay. He's like me and you. It doesn't harm us to breathe a bit of the bacterial gas. We just shouldn't breathe in too much. A bit of it won't hurt Bonaparte. But Al, you don't understand. The grenade exploded right next to him. He could have been blown to bits, destroyed completely. <gasps> oh, you poor baby. You're fine now, Mommy's here. Oh! He's got a scratch. He's got a scratch. Don't sit there like a dummy. Do something. Bonaparte's got a scratch. Getting it's all that on I don't enjoy fall. getting hit either. Thanks. That's just what I need right now. Ooh. Today's jackpot. Ah! Ah, stop it, please, please stop or talk. Ah! Too late. No mercy. You really asked for it, bastard. Be merciful, my child. Which would our Lord say is more valuable, the life of a miserable sinner or a tank? Well, a tank, of course. Right. Thanks be to God for letting thy lamb hear the true word that giveth the tank police the power which it needs to carry on the struggle. Hey, wait a minute. If I give Bonaparte a lick of paint, that should fix him like new. You'll paint him? Well, that's about the nicest offer that I ever had. It'd be a pleasure. It's really appreciated. Consider it done. I hope you don't mind if I say what a swell guy you are. Then you wouldn't be too insulted if I asked you to come out for dinner tonight? No, of course not. But I have to know if the restaurant has underground parking. Why, yeah, they got underground parking. Then I'd love to come. What makes you ask that? I wouldn't risk Bonaparte having to stay out where the bacterial cloud might hurt him. Great to be a young pair of lovers, eh, Specs? I went out for a meal with a five-inch cockroach last week, but I wouldn't pretend it was that much fun. And when I eat in the lab surrounded by urine samples, it makes me throw up. We mustn't forget our good friend Mario, who's still waiting for his shot at the big prize. Huh? We got an emergency, men. Make with the speed. Act not with unseemly haste, for there is some emergency in our fair city every 36 seconds, so say it the mayor. It's a special kind of emergency, though. Ain't it always a special kind of emergency, though, boss? Get it into your heads, it's serious! Let's postulate a bipolar scale. Would you say it scores one, four, seven, or right up to the bell? Listen, clown, it's the kind of emergency you get the second Boaku and his gang ride into town. Now, how serious is that? That's a pretty serious one. They're holed up in a shootout in a branch of a joint called Westerby's, and the chief said it's choked with all kinds of treasure and gold. Lieutenant, did you say Westerby's, the great auctioneer's place? And they have lots of statues with enormous tits and bums. Yeah, well, it's great to see I've got some interest out of you at last. Now tell us, how are you going to rate this emergency on the scale that you worked out? Ten? Yeah, oh, I always <laughs> love to ask you. Lieutenant, I can't wait to get there. Right, let's get down there and take control of events. Okay, let's go.
you see the direction you're firing in? Ow! Why is this thing attacking me? It ain't me you're trying to hit, it's that red killer in the corner! Can't you see that he's hiding there? And that's the direction I'm firing in! Quit leaping about or you might get hurt! Can't you take it in that he's there in that direction? Give the guy another burst. Okay! Okay! Suppose you fire at me instead. Your aim's so lousy I'll be safer like that. I'm really offended that you believe that. Ah! Cease fire! It made no difference! You're still firing in the same direction. Do you realize that? Yeah. Just teaching him a lesson. You gun-crazy cat gangster! Listen, the Red Commander's got you once already with his knife. Buaku, you keep your head down and we'll take care of him. Better still, you better get out of here. You're too weak for a fight and you'll be in the way. But you can use your fireball if you have to fight. I don't know if I brought it. Yeah, it's right here. I got it. You should have enough strength to use it, but if we keep the only spray can containing antidote, that gives you a real strong hand against an attacker. Anapuna, you're right. I gotta get out of here. That stab wound really hurts. Oh, what am I doing going without this? Hmm, strange. Yeah! <laughs> yep, looks like Buck and his cat gang bit off more than they could friggin' chew, huh? Yeah, but as it ain't us tank police, do you think it'd be a SWAT team that's got him cornered? No way, it's no sissies. They couldn't hold Buck up in there for ten seconds. I suppose it has to be security men, then. They're doing pretty well. Hmm? Hmm. Leona, saddle up that little peewee tank of yours and see what the shooting's all about. Looks like someone's trying to muscle in on our work and we don't like opposition. If you ain't back out again in five minutes, I'll order the rest of the guys to come in after you. On second thoughts, make that seven, and then I can finish my dinner. On our way! Okay, we'll take the side alley. Here we go. That combination of art and money has produced work of immense value, but the slightest alteration renders the priceless work of art worthless. This means that vast sums of money are spent on what must inevitably become garbage. Careful! Watch your step, Al! I'm trying to. It isn't easy to avoid every treasure in here because there's no room to maneuver accurately. I don't care about the pictures, but if you were to scratch Bonaparte's paintwork, I'd make you respray him and polish him up till he looked like new! <gasps> Shit! Well, what wonderful timing! And does that painting there happen to have been stolen? Hey, have they started sending girls to do man-sized work One now? One move and I'll <laughs> shoot! Anyway, I don't think you'd get too far nursing that stab wound you've got. Ah! <laughs> You won't forget this unplanned meeting. Allow me to present you with a bio ball, which will never come off again. What the hell's a bio ball? They're pretty nasty. <gasps> Keep quite still. Let's get them, charge! Lieutenant, where have you taken Leona? She's gonna need all the help we can give. 
Sorry, Al, but there's some real bad news to tell. Boaku slipped through our trap and taken Leona with him. Huh? Struggle, the tighter the bio ball wraps its tentacles around you. Once it's on, that's it. It don't come off again. A buddy of mine was tripping once and decided it'd be a gas to try it on himself. For three days and three nights, that thing put him through sheer hell. He was begging me to finish him off. In the end, I felt so sorry for the poor bastard, I agreed to try and rip the thing off. Well, I'm a pretty strong guy, and I did it. The trouble was that half his brain stem came away with it. We don't scare that easy in the tank, please, and unless you get this thing off, no! Let's make a deal. We have the special spray that'll remove it. It ain't the same kind issued to the police or that the doctors use. They wouldn't be any good to you. Got it all worked out, pal. But if it's curtains for me, you're gonna come along as well. How does that deal sound? Unless you help me, I'm not gonna make it anymore. The Red Commando's knife went in too deep. Oh, oh, oh. But if you do help me, I'll antidote the bio ball and get it off. I'll go free, and so we'll both have a nice, happy ending. I'm not about to make a deal with a murderous creep, and that's final. You're making a mistake, a brave decision, but wrong. And all I want is this picture of me as innocent. Nothing more. I know what that painting's <laughs> worth. It sold for 900 million. It's not the money that interests me for once, I swear. Then why do you want it? Agree to do a deal and then I'll tell you. Oh shit, I think I... Oh, ah! Don't die! You gotta get me the antidote! You lump of desiccated panda shit! Don't bow me out anymore, Chief! You call yourself a tank policeman letting her get killed and still alive to tell the tale? Get out of here! Be fair, Chief. Al did a pretty fine mm. job. Besides, I recall a conversation we had where you said that sometimes you felt like murdering her. I know Buaku's dumb, but I don't think even he'd be prepared to kill a police officer in cold blood. He isn't that dumb. He who expresses deep anger can also express deep love. It's just that I'm desperately worried about that poor kid. One more thing. What happened to the rest of the gangsters that were there? <clears throat> you better rest up, pal. You don't need to bother about that. Well, the fact is they all kind of got away. <laughs> hey! I don't like guys that take a friggin' holy on the now attitude. Got it? Didn't I even see you letting one gun girl escape? Yeah, I admit it. Shut up, then. <sighs> I wish I could have done something to try and save her. Take not this burden on thyself. If it was the lieutenant they'd taken as a hostage, I guess I could live with that. Gee, thanks. But not Leona. Listen, kid, I've been real patient, but now you better go. Back off. I tell you, if they had taken you instead, I wouldn't lose much sleep. What? You really mean it, Chief? Right then, I quit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dead, but I'm gonna take you bastards with me! Before you do, Lieutenant, I got a question for you. Hmm? That's quite an outfit you've got. The painting my men were employed to watch over at Westerby's store, where have you taken that picture? Ah, yeah, so. Can I take it you're talking about Red Commandos when you're speaking about your men? The painting's disappeared from where it should be. You were the guards in the shootout which us guys put a stop to. Where is that painting gone? Huh? For the last time, what have you done with Innocent? Uh. Look, Sunshine, we ain't got either the time or inclination to waste energy yakking to you about a painting or anything else, especially now they're holding an officer of ours. Get out of here while you can still do it in one piece. Since you asked so politely... You mean that I really scared you into going? You've told me enough that the painting is safe. They wouldn't take a hostage purely in order to escape, and certainly not a cop. May I warn you, we'll play rough to recover the painting. I would therefore advise you, Lieutenant, to keep well clear of me. That fella strikes me as antisocial. 
You ain't kidding, Chief, because them Red Commandos ain't got the same morals that we train our men to always live up to. They're a private army, and they'll do whatever's required to get the painting back, and that includes kidnapping or murder or thieving. Well, that'll put Leona in worse danger. This has all the ingredients of tragedy. Oh. oh. <gasps> you lied! You've got no antidote to stop the bio-ball action? You lied to me! Oh. You're overacting. Ah, what have I done to you? What have I done? Don't go on with it. No, don't go on. As doctors of abnormal psychology, our role is to study, not to judge. It is not our role to argue the moral rights and wrongs of the project. Your job is to record every detail of our experiments here with meticulous care. But, sir... Is that clear? The world is contaminated by the bacterial cloud, so this project has assumed national, no international, not to say global importance. We have already succeeded in creating a prototype life form capable of surviving in bacterially contaminated air. On the physical side, then, the project is incontestably a total success. The challenge we now face is to create a mental framework, completely human in form. At the moment, the brains in our specimens exist, but they exist up till now only in a state I would term cognitive sterility. A mental state of cognitive barrenness implies complete innocence. Perhaps. But we can be sure that it is without memory, without experience, without education, a blank page. What could such a being accomplish? To what could he aspire? The brain requires food from the body to keep its systems functioning. But imagine a body that does not require food. What would the brain need to sustain the mind? That is the question facing psychologists. And it is that our research is attempting to answer? Our program is collecting the data on which the answer will eventually be based. Of course, there is no human being. Indeed, it would be a contradiction in terms. With a body needing no nourishment, and a brain in a state of cognitive sterility. We dare not experiment on our prototype. We use these semi-clones. They are so human in appearance. Perhaps, but their cognitive functions remain entirely unused. What we call their brains are made of microchips, replicas of adult human brains. We shall have the privilege of imprinting experience on them. Till now, only God has known what it is to create human intellect from nothing. That is our task here. To create human intellect from nothing. The Circulatory and Respiration Lifeform Project provided a convenient cover for what is the true quest of those of us in the field of abnormal psychology. We ourselves will become as gods if we achieve our ultimate goal. That goal being nothing less than the definition and classification of the human soul. I cannot deny a certain sympathy for our subjects, however. They have no idea of their own situation. No say in their own fate. Did I talk while I was out? Where is it? Oh, oh, ah, ah. Tank police officers carry first aid kits. It won't do the trick long, but I reckon it's better than nothing. Uh, what did I say when I was asleep? All kinds of stuff that I couldn't make a lot of sense of. And you aren't carrying the spray can of buy a ball antidote. Yes, that's correct. My two cat friends have it, and you'll get some when you get me to them. Promise? Absolutely. 
And does this mean that we've got a deal? Hmm. A deal with a crook. Would the guys understand? I ain't human, you know. That was clear to me while I was bandaging your wound. I wasn't built to lie as human beings lie when it suits them. I told you where I've got the antidote, which means I have it. What are you doing? It's too bulky with its frame. I'll carry it rolled up. I still haven't agreed that we've got a deal, though. Time's getting very short. My men are making progress. I'm not in a position to offer you an absolute guarantee at this stage. One thing more. The tank police may become a nuisance to me. Please have them eliminated. That might well be crucial to us. Noise, a whirlpool. Ah, the water will drag us under. We can't get clear of the current, it'll cut us to pieces. Not if I can help it. We fight in the tank, police. Ah! 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 Grab the rope. Got it. Hang on tight. たちの求めていた最強の武器である
ファミコン用スーパーコントローラー2もはや敵は見当たらないガッサイコガン敵は速いついていけるかこのスピードにくらえこいつはちょっと手強いぜコピーのザ・サイコガン発売中限界に挑戦スペースコブラプロフェッショナルゲームは数学の次に好きな時間割ですうちのソフトは難しいよ対等からファミリーコンピュータ用ソフト新登場テクノファンタジー対等
No. That voice. It's impossible. Mother's dead. She was killed in the glacier. Now, I'm gonna 
kill you for good and all!
At least his shell is silent now. The people released from their living death by actual death. At last my poor mother can rest in peace. By killing her, I've saved her. very well. Yeah. It must be something to do with all the tender loving care I'm receiving here. Anyway, how are things with you? Things are very much the same. You know how it is. Mr. Asuka needs to rest as much as possible, so don't tire him out. Right. <sighs> I'm knackered. The nurses are wonderful to me, but, well, I... Uh, oh. Yes, they're very dedicated. <laughs> professional. You know what? You're a lucky bastard to be staying in here, Rio. It was awful seeing what they did to my mother. Stuff like that sometimes makes me think I shouldn't have become the devil man. That's crap. You gotta remember, your mother was eaten by a demon long before you even knew they existed. And besides, it was only as devil man that you could release her. I guess you're right. To be absolutely truthful, I have to admit to feeling kind of relieved. I guess it's just one of those things I had to deal with. Do you know what I mean? Poor mother. I miss her terribly. I've been thinking a lot while I've been in here, and I wonder if what we're doing is right. Perhaps it's actually the natural order of things that demons should exist to kill people. Now listen here, Rio. If you ever say that again, I'll rip your fucking head off and shit down your neck, okay? Yeah, okay. <sighs> Look, just take it easy, will you? All I'm saying is that every creature on this planet has a natural enemy, and that's nature's way of maintaining the ecosystem. For instance, the number of carnivorous animals in the world today is limited by the availability of the herbivorous animals which they prey upon, and thus the population balance is maintained in an equilibrium. It's impossible for the herbivore population to explode without a concurrent increase in the number of predators. However, we humans have no natural predator to feed on us, which is pretty strange. As far as I'm aware, this state of affairs has never occurred before in the history of the planet. Are you trying to tell me that our natural predators are demons? Take a look at the city. It's overflowing with people. Without a natural predator to reduce the numbers, we can only expect it to edge towards a disaster. You mean a war? Absolutely. The trouble is, we're now at a point where modern weapons are so powerful they can destroy the entire planet, let alone the population. I just hope we'll be able to find some way of controlling the population that won't destroy us. God, what a hope. What? You're a real pessimist, you know that? The human race will find a way of sorting it out. It may not have to. Unless we do something, the demons will eat all of us. Which will solve the population problem, and so we'll have restored the balance of nature. But then again... We could use the knowledge and technology we've gained while the demons were trapped in the ice to create new weapons. Weapons we could use against demons instead of people. That'd give the bastard something to think about for sure. Now, I like the sound of demon-busting kick-ass technology. But until such time as someone invents it, Devil Man will be the demon's natural enemy. human who can stop us demons, the one called Akira Fudo, known as the Devil Man. I will make an example out of him to warn others who might try to meld with demons. I will destroy you, Devil Man. Whoa! 
I have to admit that you did, yeah. Fancy a swim? Huh? Mickey? What the? Jinmen? Weird. What the hell is this place? Of course, these must be the memories of the demon I melded with. If that dream was actually the memories of the demon Ammon that I melded with, then the terror I felt when I saw that huge demon was Ammon's own fear. Hmm. God, it was hideous. Akira! Huh? Yo! That'll teach you. How dare you say my knickers are hideous! It was a horrible dream. Well, what happened? Well, oh, forget it. Okay. If you're still frightened, perhaps I should stay with you. Huh? But your father would kill me. Besides, it's not right. <laughs> Don't worry. I wasn't gonna stay with you, really. You're sweating. You really ought to take a bath. Nah, I'll dry off in a minute. Besides, I can't be bothered. You pig! I couldn't stand not having a bath every day. Let me know next time. I'll soap your tits for you. Whoa, hey! <laughs> Akira! You're disgusting! <laughs> hey, Mickey. Hmm? It's just an idea, but why don't you change your underwear? Just piss off, will you? <laughs> <laughs> if there be a god, then hide from his face this our most evil enterprise. Now come forth, Agwell! Come forth, Gilmar! I was just trying to make the little pig feel at home. Pleh.
If only he would soap my chest. Oh well. Can I defeat him? Amon was known as the Beast of Hell, Commander of Fire Infernal Legions. He was feared by all. Now that he's combined with his Akira Fudo, he is said to have become even stronger, even more dangerous. Well, I shall not be afraid of him, and I shall destroy him! So, he thinks my knickers are stupid. All right, I'll get rid of them then. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I haven't got any other kind of knickers, so I won't wear any at all. Let's see what he thinks of that. I have torn many lesser demons apart with these talents. Next will be Devil Man. I shall tear his limbs from his body, rip open his belly, bathe in his blood, and trample in his guts. I am strong. I shall be victorious! Arwell and Galmar will provide me with the opportunity I need. The night of blood begins! Oh my god, what's happening? Tare, what's happened? It's... 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 dad, it, it's... mama... daddy's in the wall! Okay, now go to your room. Kimura! The beasts. They'll regret this. Huh? Oh my god!
Come on out, you scum sucking slime ball. Mickey! You swallowed some of Gelmar! Ah! That's the way to cheat a lady! You point to the guts of hell and leave him out! Now I'll show you how to treat a demon! Sometimes I can't put a foot wrong! Now die! I'll be waiting for you in hell, Devil Man! Oh yeah? Well, you're gonna be waiting a long time for me. I'm ready, Gilmar. You've no powers left now that I've evaporated most of your ugly water body. Have you? You're incapable of doing anything without your powers, you worthless piece of shit! I'll make you sore you came here! <laughs> <laughs> Mickey? Phew. I hope she didn't see that. Ugh. Ah! I beat them both. They're dead. After beating Agwell and Gelmar, you let your guard down. That was the moment I was waiting for. <laughs> the dark force which flows through my talons has neutralized all of your abilities. You are powerless against me. No one has ever escaped from my talons. If you won't let me use my powers, I can't hope to fight you. Go ahead and kill me! Kill me before the humiliation of defeat breaks my heart! Silence! If you were a proud demon warrior, I would do you the honor. But you are not. You have combined with verminous human filth to form the bastard hybrid Devil Man. 
You must die a slow, painful death, writhing for all eternity in the icy fires of hell, tormented in Stygian darkness until the ends of time. I shall carry you across the river Styx and cast you into the pit of Acheron. Then I shall personally oversee your torment by night and day. All the exquisite agonies of the damned will be yours to savor. The agonies of your eternally rending flesh burning through your ever-conscious mind. Rio! Show her what's what? There he is! Talking some bullshit about tormenting me in hell earlier, Shiranu? Well, now's your chance. Let's see if you can walk the walk, so get ready for Devil Man! Come on. All right, Devil Man. I'll strangle you with your own guts! More posturing bullshit. Why don't you just shut up and get on with it? Like this! Now where she got to?
this for size, you bitch! Ugh. Teleport. What's that noise? Huh? the only one who can teleport. I'll wait for her to break cover. Then I'll finish her. For good! Useless twig! Ah! Your 
yours, I believe. Okay, seeing as we've each lost an arm, I guess we're even. Pray not, Devil Man. My lost arm is just up above you! <laughs> I think it's you who's dead! <laughs> oh, painful is it, Devil Man. <laughs> I'm going to pull you apart slowly. So she controls the talon with her antenna. <gasps> Sorry, but I've got to take control of that talon. Now, let me see. What shall I do? With you bastard! Ah! How do you like your claw now? Damn you! Damn you to hell, devil man! Forget it, you've lost! No! Oh yes, I think so! Now I'm gonna pull you apart slowly! <laughs> Lord Satan, help me, please! Lord Satan! Don't let me die like this! Give me the power to defeat Devil Man! Lord Satan, I beseech you! Want to start something? I can kill all of you easily. Satan has sent me to help you. Meld with me. Uh, no, Kaim. Don't you see how badly wounded I am? I'm going to die very soon. I, I won't let you do it. I won't join with you. I understand the situation completely. But if we join together and my consciousness is the dominant one, we'll be doomed to die even if we defeat Devil Man. I know that. If your consciousness is the dominant one, we may survive, but there's only a 50-50 chance. There's no way of knowing how it'll turn out. You could be going to throw your evil life away for absolutely nothing. I can't let you take the risk! It's not up to you. Existence is meaningless to me unless I have you to share it with me. Shirinu, I want you to feel the joy of victory over Devil Man. My life is a small price to pay for victory. Take my body. I give you all my powers. Why will you do this?
because, Shirinu, I have loved you since the dawn of time. Time! Time! Finish me. Uh, 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 I can't go on. My powers, all my demonic energy has faded. Come on, Shirinu. You've won. Why don't you come and claim your victory? Why don't you come and... Oh... Ah, so you've woken up. Am I even alive? Rio, what on earth are you doing here? While I was asleep at the hospital, I felt something. I could sense that you were in some kind of terrible trouble. <laughs> it was as if you were communicating with me by telepathy. Telepathic communication? Oh my god, it's not over. We're in terrible danger here. The demon Shirinu, she's still alive! Oh, I wouldn't worry too much about her if I was you. What? Look, she's over there. Because Shirinu's consciousness had been the dominant one, when she melded with Kaim, her terrible injuries had carried them both to the grave. At least she died, believing she'd won.
Up behold, you have been chosen. You are the only shaman who has been given the honor of attending the Kachina powwow. We are waiting to welcome you. Oh! Oh, it's you! I must go now. I know I've come to wish you a safe journey and to tell you how proud I am of you. It's a great honor for you and the whole tribe. Never forget that. No, I won't forget. You may travel your path with your mind at rest, because the Kachina are spirits who live in the other world. They will welcome you and protect you. Thank you for coming to see me off. Goodbye. Farewell! Oh, it's so hot today. Still have a long way to go to reach the place where the rainbow touches the ground. It was I who sent you the message. I have been expecting you. Huh? Apiho, you are welcome on our sacred mountain. We of the Kachina, the benevolent spirit of your people, have been watching you for some time. We are so impressed by the purity of your thought and your powers as a medicine man that we have chosen you to represent us on a journey you will undertake with the Princess Pocahontas. You will help her bring a message from the Great Spirit with a sacred prophecy for all the Indian people. Huh. Your job will be to protect Pocahontas and render her mission as easy as possible. We are counting on you, Hapio. I am grateful for the trust you have in me. Now go. You must join Pocahontas without delay. She's waiting for you. I'm on my way.
Pocahontas. Granny! <laughs> oh. oh, my child, the time has come for you to leave. There is no excuse for you to stay any longer. I know, Granny, but it's not so easy. Oh. I know, child. This is where you were born. This is where you grew up. This is where your family is. This is where you have all your animal friends. Don't worry. They'll go with you. There's no need to be sad. You are destined to accomplish great things. And even though I'll remain here, you'll always be in my thoughts. I'll never abandon you. You have to bring a message of hope to all our tribes. You will be escorted and protected by a young medicine man called Hopi Ho. And you say my animals will come with me too? Yes, and along the way you will find many friends who will look out for you and make sure nothing happens to you. Hopi Ho belongs to the Hopi tribe, and he and his people are very close to the spirits of the Kachina, who watch over us all. Now come along, you must get ready. He'll be here soon. Jeeva! Pocahontas! The great chief Powhatan is waiting for you in the village! What's the hurry? What's happened? Let me get my breath back. I've been looking for you everywhere. A stranger is approaching the village. He's not a pale face, but his clothes are different to ours. And what's more, he carries no weapons either. No weapons? No, nothing. I can't believe he got here so quickly. It's Hoppy Ho, child. <sighs> Come along. We must give him a worthy welcome. I am Hopi Ho of the Hopi Nation, Shaman of the Bear Tribe. I am the Great Chief Powhatan of the Turtle Tribe. It is a great honor for me to welcome you to our land. My mother, Jiva, announced your arrival several days ago. You have been preceded by the renown of your people's power. My name is Tomokomo, and I welcome you in the name of all the warriors of the Bear Tribe. Introduce me, Granny. I am Jiva, the mother of Powhatan, and this is Pocahontas, his daughter. Oh. It was in this cabin that Granny had her first vision about the future of our people, threatened by the Pale Faces, who have no respect for the laws of nature, and changed the face of our lands. White invaders want to make slaves out of us. They shoot all those who try to resist. <laughs> ah, there's a fortune here. Courageously to protect the lands of our ancestors. The war against the Pale Faces forced the tribes to abandon their peaceful way of life. must all learn to face the future with courage.
In spite of the horrors that have befallen us, we must always be faithful to our traditions and the magic of our sacred places. Everything you say I have already heard before. It confirms the prophecy the spirits of the Kachina have made to the chiefs of my people. You must leave the village at dawn tomorrow. And this evening, you will begin your mission by addressing a powwow of the whole tribe. We will be the first to receive your message from the Great Spirit. Invoking the gods to protect us, I'm sure that Manitou will answer your prayers, and our journey will be without danger. You undertake this journey on behalf of the Great Spirit, but we must all pray that the other spirits will be kind to you. Your words are wise, Great Chief. We will need all your prayers to complete our mission. I promise you will not regret entrusting your daughter to me while she delivers the Kachina's message. I trust you. I have been chosen by the spirits to protect her like she has been chosen to carry their message to every corner of our people's territory. The Hopi people's reputation for bravery reassures me, in spite of the great distances that separate our tribes. I know the Great Spirit has endowed you with his own special powers. The journey that awaits us will be long and difficult, but it is the will of the Great Manitou, and I will make it with joy as I take the message to all our brothers. While I'm gone, remember it is your duty to seek peace, even when attacked. You must retreat into the countryside, hide yourself like the birds and all the animals, and wait for the good news. Huh. The good news? Yes. While I am traveling the world, you will always be with me in the bottom of my heart. I will return as soon as I have completed my mission. <laughs> It's just as well my daughter's decided to leave now. Yes, while she's away, we can go on the warpath. And drive the white man off our lands once and for all. It won't be the same here while you're away, child. Don't be sad, Granny. We'll be back sooner than you think. Make sure that they live in peace. Every day I will pray to the spirits to protect you. May all the world live in harmony. Men, animals, plants. May the Great Spirit protect you too, child. Oh, don't be sad, Mother. I miss you. I promise I'll come back as soon as I can. I've prepared some provisions for you. Nourishing dried meat will give you all the strength you need. Thank you, Mother, but we've decided to eat only fruit and plants. Thank you, although I don't think we'll eat what you have prepared. It's dried deer meat that I crushed and mixed with roots and nuts. Take it with you anyway. You might need it. You never know. In any case, it won't go bad. Put on your peace bands before you set out so that everyone will recognize you.
You've been entrusted with an important mission. Don't worry, you'll see them all again. I'm hungry. Then we should find a place to rest. It'll be dark soon. Oh, cherries are my favorite fruit. These ones are so sweet, I can tell. This is such a fertile land, full of good things to eat. So different from the barren plains of my homeland. Mmm, they're delicious. If you talk, we'll understand. The great spirit of the Kachina has given us the gift of languages to make our mission more simple. You're lucky the great spirit gave you that gift. It's going to save you a lot of problems. There are many languages in the world. For instance, I learned the language of every tribe I met all by myself. Oh. <laughs> Greetings, my father is the chief of the Mohicans. My name is Mok, we belong to the clan of the wolf. I've never come to this land before, but my friend the Lynx and I are having a contest of endurance and strength. Oh, a contest! How interesting! I'd be honored if you'd allow me to travel with you, Pocahontas. I make an excellent guide, and I can protect you as well. My friend and I know all about your mission, and we're afraid of nothing. Trust us, we'll follow you to the end of the world, if necessary. I think you should always find something to laugh at in life. <laughs> but don't be fooled when it comes to a fight. My friend and I are fearless warriors. You couldn't have two better traveling companions. How do you know her name and what our mission is? I have the gift of clairvoyance. You're not the only ones blessed by the Great Spirit. I can read people's thoughts. That's how I found you, all right? I know your name too. It's Hopi Ho. What? You belong to the Hopi people, who live on the other side of the mountain. Your villages have stone houses, your lands are barren, and you're known to speak with the spirits. I imagine the first tribe on your journey is mine, so let's go. We are on a mission of hope to bring peace to all the peoples of the world. We don't need a warrior escort. I'm only a warrior if I'm attacked. I believe in peace myself. Look, to prove my point, I just happen to have my tribe's peace band with me. Well? It's 
your choice. It's all right with me. Then let's go. I saw you talking to my friend the eagle. Can you speak to all animals? No, just birds. This is going to be a great adventure. Oh, don't give me no money. Oh, don't give me no money. Oh, don't give me no money. 
우리 이쪽으로 올것 같아. 그래? 야, 너 빨리 가서 기상도 울려. 어? 우리도 이제부터 굴도 뚫고 털담도 넣기 싸차는 거야. 아니, 어, 그래, 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 정신이 니? 이 소탕한 밤을 언제 걷어들이고 아니 그럼 우리도 달기네처럼 되자는 거야? 무슨 말이야? 달기네와 달라 아이 가까운 마을에 흰색 꼬마 아저씨가 있는데 무슨 걱정이야? 어라 얘들아 우리도 오늘부터 굴뚫는 일을 시작해야겠어 이야, 여름 내가 끈 밤들이 다 썩겠구나. 엄벼들면 가로내어 선들 바람에. 날려보내리, 날려보내리. 진대나무 큰 바위가 길을 막아도 문제 없다네 문제 없다네 아이 가슴이야 난또 누구라고 곰 아저씨인걸 곰이야 심장수 곰이란 말이야 <웃음> 또 큼직한 곡간을 지으려나? 곡간이요? 이건 굴 뚫는 통발감이에요. 뭐 굴을 뚫는다고? 왜? 쪽제비를 막 자는 거지요, 뭐. 쪽제비? <웃음> 이 꽃동산에 내가 있는데 쪽제비가 덤벼들 것 같은가? 어? 야, 그러게 말이에요. 그걸로 큼직한 곡간을 지으라고. 자, 내가 날라주지. 자, 곡간 기둥감이 날아간다. 으쌰! 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 이번에는 곧장감이 날아간다. 거기 따라마 봤지? 응, 대단하구나. 정말 대단해. 오늘부터 저 힘센 곰 아저씨가 우리를 도와주겠다는데 딴 근심 말고 풍년 밤을 걷어들이자 이 많은 밤낮가리를 볼 때마다 난곰 아저씨를 생각하게 되는구나 정말이야 곰 아저씨가 일찍 타일러 주지 않았더라면 우린 지금도 고를 뚫으라고 땀을 뻘뻘 흘릴 거야 안 그렇지 않고 <웃음> 우리 크게 풍년 연애를 차려서 곰 아저씨랑 이웃들을 대접하는 게 어때? 응, 그게 좋겠어. 곰 <웃음> 아저씨에게 먼저 쓰러. 곰 아저씨를 풍년 연회에 초대합니다. 연곡이 여기까지 들리더니 풍년연회를 마련했구만. 물어리 부대장님을 초대한다. <웃음> 수대대장! 예? 제놈을 어디서 체포했는가? 예. 물어리네 호수가 요울목에서. 야, 연애에 겁놈도 오겠지. 대답을 안 하겠단 말이지. 갔다 오세요. 예. 야, 가자! 빨리 그리! 생쥐들을 풀어야지. 장각하, 명령대로 왔습니다. 각하, 부르셨습니까? 야, 가.
가까이 오라. 네. 너희들은 지금 곧 다람내 동산으로 뚫고 들어가 연애 정령을 내타며란 말이야. 네. 어 떠나라. <웃음> 아, 저기 연애 장이 보인다. 달랑이. 오라. 이렇게 풍년 낙가리 높이 쌓고 풍년 연애까지 마련하니 얼마나 좋은가. 네. 기뻐요. 어, 참. 자, 옷을 아, 많이 드세요. 네. 난 이맛에 살지. 전 월탐 농사를 알수 있게 지은 다람이 여러분을 열렬히 축하합니다. 네. 아, 아, 이거 정말 이러지들 마세요. 이게 다 곰님을 비롯한 여러분들이 덜 봐준 덕분이지요, 뭐. 잘 마시는 거. 옷을 많이 드세요. 어, 딸랑아, 물어리 가봐. 물어리 가? 우리 부대장님이 오셨구나. 아니, 이게 우리 줄다람이가 어찌 된 일이요? 글쎄, 쪽제비 놈들이 사형장으로 끌고 가는 것을 우리 부대장님이 구원했지. 네, 부대장님 정말 고맙습니다. 줄다람이가 살아왔구나. 정말. 전하에 <웃음> 사실 우린 저 쪽제비 놈들 때문에. 늘 근심 속에 살아갑니다. 아니, 쪽제비 놈들이 오진 다람이를 해쳤다고? 밤내 찐이겨 놀놈들. 쪽제비 놈이 어디 있어? 어디 있는가 말이야? 손 나서지 못해! 쪽집이 놈들이 저고함 소리를 들으면 벌벌 떨 거야. 아, 음, 그렇지 않고 저 무서운 고막의 맛소림은 아마 이 동산엔 없을 거야. 금빛 따라마, 곰의 뚝심이 그렇게 부럽니? 난 다람이의 날래고 그저 언제간이 더 부럽더구나. 기다가 신만 합친다면요? 암, 개미가 천마리면 망토를 굴린다는데. 금빛 따라마, 들었지? 작은 힘도 모으면 큰 힘이 된다잖아. 아니, 그래. 작은 다람이가 크고 사나운 쪽제비를 당해낼 수 있단 말이야? 어? 당해낼 수 있어? 크다고 어쩔 되지 말아요. 아, 뭐, 뭐, 아, 뭐라고? 이러지 마세요. 아, 이러다가 싸우시겠네. 내가 이 꽃동산에 있는 한 쪽제비는 못 덤벼. 이거 뜻밖의 일로 아, 참 유쾌한 연애가. <웃음> 지금 늦은 이상 없음. 수고하는 만 수고해. 경각성을 높여야 돼. 꽃동산을 노리는 쪽제비 놈들은 언제 덤벼들지 모르거든. 망을 쳐와. 멍텅구리 같은 것들. 술독 같은 곰놈이 큰 소리를 친단 말이지. 예. 대장님을 단내 쳐쓰겠단 말이지. 예. 글쎄, 어찌나 무섭게 날 치는지 그만 알고. 그래, 도망을 채웠다. 음. 술. 그렇지. 야, 너는 이 밤중으로 이 독주를 가지고 곧내 집으로 가거라. 네. 편안하셨나요? 아니, 이 밤중에 내가? 저, 대장님께서 고마 아저씨 몸보신 하시라고 이걸 
<웃음> 아니 대장이라니 쪽집이 대장 말이냐? 아이고 오해하시네 듣기 싫다 이놈 썩 물러가지 못해 아이고 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 누굴 내 물로 업어 넘겨버려고 어림도 없다 이놈 그럼 편안히 주무십시오 아이고 아 가지고 가라는 대로 <웃음> 에이. 제가 안 넘어가고 견디요. 말이야. 이놈 잘못을 뉘우친다더니만 또 날쳐. 아, 아니. 어, 아저씨, 아저씨, 아저씨. 아유, 이런 놈을 믿다니. 이런 술독개비를 믿은 내가 잘못이었지. 꼼짝 말고 던들! <웃음> 다라미네가 곰만 믿고 춤을 추더니 끝내 일을 저질렀어 다라미네 마을로 빨리 들어가 금빛 다라미를 구원해와야겠어 알았습니다 <웃음> 아, 내가 왜 거슴도치의 충고를 듣지 않았을까 이 자식이 뭘 꿈을 그려? 빨리 켜내! 다시 총에 맞았구나. 야! 안가르 죽이라! 
총소리요? 예. 어디서 나는 총소리요? 저 벼랑점입니다. 아, 고슴도 저 다람이가 위험에 처했구만. 무대 전수준이 신호를 올리시오. 알았습니다. 나무의 본다리를 놓을 것! 출발! 도치 부대장님, 정말 볼라치 없습니다. 힘을 냅시다. 우리 서로 힘을 합쳐 가나칸 원수를 천대배로 갚읍시다. 고슴도치, 이놈, 어디 두고 보자. 곰만 믿고 울바자 하나 제대로 쳐놓지 않으니 쪽제비 놈들한테 봉변을 당할 수밖에 없지 않아? 옳은 말이야. 난 오늘에야 그걸 똑똑히 깨달았어. 소년단은 동무들, 이렇게 자기 잘못을 뉘우친 금빛 다람이는 오늘부터 꽃동산을 지키는 싸움길에 나섰답니다. 제가 앞으로 어떻게 싸우는가를 두고 보세요. 다시야 그렇게 살겠어요. 지난 날을 생각하면 정말 부끄러워요. 그럼 다시 만나요. <웃음> <웃음> 